groaning like a geezer. You know you're in trouble when the Crypt Keeper has more color in his face than uh, you do. Look at this. I am like, I feel like I'm slowly dying. I need to get like uh, some colored lights on me to make me look healthy. You know, I turned 60. I was fine. And now it's like, I don't want to get up. I'm just going to lay here. But enough about me. Welcome to Graybeard Studio. There's a reason I have gray in my beard and it's because I'm an old son of a... But anyway, we today... We hit gold, at least I did, because you guys voted for horror comics from the EC vein. Uh, what we're going to try and do is do a little uh, create a scene that might fit an EC horror comic. You give it a little bit more challenge. I, I, I can't I can't vouch or verify what David Williams might do, but I know that that's what I'm going to try and do. So we'll see what the rest of the gang has in store for us. Let's get them in here and get rocking and rolling. Uh, speaking of that guy, there's, uh, it's David Williams. There he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drawing Batman. That's what I thought. If we could somehow work Batman into an EC moment, you know, in fact, there was an old Batman comic. I can't remember what number it was. I've got it, but it's like, uh, it was a Neil Adams cover and has a close up of Batman. And they're like, they're, he's in an asylum. And then there's this crazy dude behind him, locking the door and there's all these hands grabbing him. And I thought, you know, that's kind of an EC Batman scene. Um, but anyway, while you're thinking about that, David, uh, let's bring in someone who doesn't think a lot, but he's always here. It's Gary Martin. There he is. Gee, buddy. I'm never here, and I do think a lot. Okay, so I got it backwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, Gary, what did you vote for in this? Did you vote for Mad Magazine or did you vote for EC Horror? You know me too well, Mad Magazine. That's what I voted for too. Believe it or not. Um, here's a guy who's pretty scary most of the time. It's uh, Kelsey Shannon. There he is. One damn EC reference in these things. I mean, I don't know what to do. I <laughs> Save me, manga. Save me. <laughs> uh, hello. Oh. This is what, Kelsey, this is what we call revenge. Because, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> for the pain and suffering i actually thought there was a really good chance that mad magazine might pull this one out and uh i was getting ready for it and then because i could just imagine you doing a spy versus spy or something like that uh yeah that would be fantastic uh yeah or just any kind of uh jack davis ripoff i can yeah. <laughs> but the My people favorite. that came through for me they said aaron needs a reprieve we're giving him the monsters so which really do has super created... duper man. We could have done so much. I know. And I, uh, I'm sitting here now because we got the monster stuff and, we're, and you know, we talked about doing a, a, you know, horror scene or something. Now my mind is just racing. It's like, I'm not just going to draw the crypt keeper. I got to come up with something better than that. So I'm going to draw the most horrible thing I can think of my paycheck. <laughs> there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing more terrifying it's it's horrifying <laughs> i just got a marvel royalty and it was it was pretty scary so i got I, I got a check that i have not cashed for 75 cents from marvel i'm gonna frame it i keep threatening to frame you, it i just haven't done it yet did you I really get a few of those yeah. so you get these you do you really <laughs> yeah you get these royalty checks you know they're royalty checks when they come in the mail and they're there there's always hope that it's like a five or six figure check you know mm -hmm. like, and and what's like you know 60 cents it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they don't well, they, call they, them 
They don't call them royalty checks anymore. They call them incentives. That's right. They're oh, yeah, incentivizing no, that's an incentive. To, to yeah. not to work for them anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> to go, we don't want this little Presti guy hanging around here anymore. Send him another 60 cent check. <laughs> that works every me. time. <laughs> Well, they used to just send those out blindly and you'd get the check and you're like, ooh, it opened it up and didn't know what you were going to get. Now they give you those like email notifications so you actually know. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a direct yeah. deposit. So what it's, you're yeah. getting before you get it. So it's yeah. yeah, the excitement of it all. I guess it's still better than Image because I think I owe them money. I don't, yeah, I I'm, just, that. I'm just avoiding all communication with those That guys. was the thing with Image. You always owed them money. I was like, hey, is this a good deal for me again? Yeah, I, I would get the, the email notifications and I'd go to my wife and go, hey, look, we got an incentive. She said, yeah, I know. I filled the tank with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, at least you could do that. Pretty so she spent it before you even yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know when uh, <clears throat> we talked about this last week, uh, when we published through Studiosaurus, uh, we published Chicks and then Chicks the Time Forgot. Yeah, I'm still waiting for my royalty from that. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> no, we, um, <laughs> I've been sitting on it for years. Um, <laughs> We, we he filled get, his tank up with it too. Right. <laughs> well, we'd get our numbers back from Image, and then you'd make the decision on whether or not to cancel the book or not. Mm. And uh, we did okay on the Chicks books. But when I did when I first did Power Cubed, which was originally Atomic Toy Box, the first issue I did okay. I was like, hey, this might work. Second issue, I I would like owed them like if I went through with it, I would owe them like two thousand dollars. So I said, cancel it, cancel it. So it had already been in the preview guide. The orders had come in, and then I was like, uh, "No, I'm not owing you guys money. Cancel it." So yeah, the image really. It was not mm. necessarily the good old days, but they were uh, they were something. <laughs> they were days. They were days. The, the, the okay days, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> they the, the oh the, are, those aren't rose colored glasses. They're just kind of like uh, you know sepia tinted kind of. You know, it's like they, they were smoke filled. Room glasses, I know. <laughs> yeah, they were the old days. I can't really see clearly what uh, what the pain and My suffering glasses, was. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Anyway, let's uh, let's see who's here for the uh, the good of all. Uh, Creative Faye is here. Says good afternoon, Graybeards. Hope everyone is doing fine. So far, so good. We shall see in about fifteen minutes how fine we're all doing. Uh, is already right. judging us. I don't know. Ronan is here. Robert the Bruce Howler sixty four eighty repairman Jack Biblia Bob. Now look at. I thought this was serious for a moment. Then I realized he, he he was doing an EC joke. He says, I just started to read. He goes, I just started to read a horror comic in Braille. Something bad is going to happen. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Well Very played. well played. That's pretty good. Yep. Pretty good. Well, Ryo Stu is Henry Bemis. Caleb Reynolds. John without an H is here. Prater 7. Toshiro. Uh, love the thumbnail. That's how I feel every Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, he, he, I better not let your wife see that or your girlfriend. My goodness. Here in the Steadfast, Fox Molders here, Kevin Thompson, Brian Norton, Citizen Ronan, Marcus Killer Group, purveyor of all things pop culture knowledge, Birdman, Burr, the Vespa guy is here, uh, Geek Avenger. And uh, let's see here. I'm just ripping through these. Captain Bip. Oh, gosh. Now he's worse than Bibliobob. Captain Bip. Toe. I'm just here to see if Kelsey sets his art room on fire again. It's like <laughs> it happened one time and people are demanding it every time now. They're so lining not, up to see it. Next time is sulfuric acid. <laughs> it's going to gonna be like alien. This is going to burn <laughs> through the bottom of the seat. I in your house. Kelsey is the evil Knievel of the group. Yeah. <laughs> There's Heat Miser, uh, Pantheon. Uh, the evil one, Chris, is joining us. He was sick yesterday, but joined us for the professionals, so hopefully feeling better today. Uh, L-E-C-G for my PP. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, can't keep up with that guy. Um, <laughs> don't know that I want to. Kel Razor's here, Jughead Grayson, Mike Mc McMahon. Oh, my goodness. Who else we got here? Uh, DJ Close is here. Um, Tree Goblin is that new? Is Tree Goblin new? No, Sounds Tree Goblin's been around. Okay, right? Robert Dones Pills is here. Um, well, let's see here. 
got blah 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 old dirty fatty who always always uses capitals you will live forever it's your curse he's a loud talker yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's> what, <laughs> uh jimmy owens for a dollar and thank you jimmy appreciate that very much sending love and, and support thank you very much uh jabez is here byron smith storm d uh jab style or he just simply says kelsey oh jabs yeah uh, let's see here. Who else we got? Anybody? Jeff Stylor. That's how you say it. Oh, is Jay that Dredd's how? here. The judge. Hell Jay Dredd. Dredd, one slick dude. Um, let me just roll. Eric Hutfels, Byron Smith, 60 incentive. 60 incentive. 60 incentive. Oh, I get it. That's our 60 cent check from Marvel. That's why they call it incentive. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a while. I only had to read it like 10 times. I'm getting as bad as Gary. Uh, Agent Zero's here. Evil one for another two. Uh, show us that Jack Davis piece, Gary. Hail Ghastly. Ooh, he was ready for it. There. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Oh, God, that's so good. Look at that. Oh man, I'd do that, but I want to finish things like this year, right? Maybe this decade. <laughs> I, I would. I don't think I, it would take me forever to do something like that. <laughs> well, that yeah, I did not do that in an afternoon. No, I would guess not. Jack Davis might have though. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> so I was fly yeah, on the I wall. was mad the whole time how long it was taking. Me. I knew Jack Davis like. Okay, yeah, here you <laughs> uh, Squibs is here. Kellraiser says, I was torn between EC Monsters, feeling like a fool. Uh, torn between EC Monsters and Mad Magazine, ended up voting for EC. Corin Zenith, all the way from Australia, is here. No Madaman. Uh, Torchbearer Studios are joining us. Gen X Catholic uh, voted non horror EC. I needed some love. Uh, Stealth X5 is here. People are rolling in. Jolly Green is here. Iodine 74, Derail Gaming. Uh, he says, hi, Gary, and I guess everyone else. Well, let's, let's, <laughs> uh, let's see who his favorite is. All right. All well, right. Bright Raven's father's in the hospital. You guys send out some prayers for him. But uh, he says, can All you right. see me at the hospital trying to watch on my phone via Facebook? That is dedication, my friend. Thank you. Uh, Son of Liberty Radio. And on anonymity and two T. Anonymity. Anonymity. Bibbly Bob. Anonymity Bob. Rotax Hippie is here. That sounds like something we should be calling uh, Kelsey. Uh, <laughs> Road Kill Hippie. Oh, that's, that's Rolades. <laughs> okay anyway that's just about every based art department says uh geez are you planning on having a hard time today what do you mean am i planning on it i'm already there uh zade comics is here that's phil diaz of course also known as merv the astro champ is in the chat um all right here we mean? go you having a hard time this is his wheelhouse we're all in trouble today i uh, and you yeah i hope so <laughs> Why is I'm my... gonna go ahead and, and rat you out that you were doing layouts before the show. I saw you. I yes. <laughs> 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 Only because I had a couple of ideas and I wasn't sure which one I was gonna go with. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> It's okay, right. I already did mine. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I later. thought. You just already blue line. <laughs> You're like one of those guys who just like really light blue, and they show it up on camera. And you can't see the blue, and you just draw this stuff. And everybody's like, "How is he doing that?" And it, it's all in the lens. It's, it's all, all in the lens. lens. Yeah. <laughs> so, David, what do you have to share with us today? I sent you stuff on. Uh... Oh, that's right. I have to do all the work. Sorry. Yep. And don't show it all crazy out of order and stuff like you do. Dude, I'm showing it. Oh, my gosh. All don't right. you guys know how this works? You show, you get them to show this stuff after we get started. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was the no. first. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So right. this oh, was. I love that stuff. This was for Archie Comics. Um, they were doing, um, I forgot the character. Uh, it was those, one of those. What what was it, Kelsey? The you shield. Were, the this shield. is the That's shield right. from the Mighty Crusaders. Yeah, yeah, and they turned turned uh, the shield female. 
and they were going to have me do the interior. Well, this <clears> is her, his, the the original Shield's like goddaughter or something or daughter. Yeah, she's, but she's related, so it's not. It that ended they up just not being that because oh, okay. Uh, they made her pre, uh, like she was Madonna. She, no, no. Oh, uh, predate uh, the original in some weird way because she lived in the oh. past. In the I just drew it. I didn't read it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this was the layout for and it. And then this beautiful was the finished. I love your marker renderings. So great. You know, uh, Andrew Robinson, uh, who also appeared on this show, did a great shield cover as well. Yeah. What the hell? Why is it so dark? Yeah, well, she's that's what they ended up with. That's what they colored it. So <laughs> she's actually supposed to be red, uh, not black uh, and blue. Well, it's nice. I, think I see red. thought you were getting. Uh, I, I think know. that might be your monitor, but oh no, <laughs> that's what it looks like. On yeah, the red is very, very no. yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> it's nice just really stuff. dark, really dark red, but yeah, <clears throat> nice photo in the background. Um, yeah, they had nice photo sky. They had this kind of really sort of bizarre, flat, uninspired coloring in the in the foreground. Very mm -hmm. weird combination. Yeah. Show us your three D models you used for this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All read. right. So then, now this is uh, this is this a different cover, or was this a layout for the same cover and they just didn't like it? Yeah, th those are the rejected layouts. Oh man, oh. that's a great one. I like that one. That's that almost Alex Rossian. If I dare say it, <laughs> it reminds me exactly of this Wonder Woman cover that Adam did. I think after this cover, so mm. Mm. everybody's always ripping off David Williams. It's a song. <laughs> All right, I need to now rip this... them off more. I might have more success. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one a lot. I, that's the one I wanted mm. to do. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah, big is. shot of the character. Yep. Yeah, mm. guns a blazing. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. But of course but they do. I want to do more layouts like that just for my stuff, just so I could have stuff to print and people could see the value studies. And it, it helps the colorist too, right, Kelsey? Yeah, I love it. And plus, I just love that rough, you know, it, it's not all like finished. It has so much energy and life to it. Yeah. And yeah, the grays are just freaking awesome. I love it. Yeah, please do more. I'll buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the private Kelsey auction. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> okay, then we got this one right here. Yeah, that was uh, for Hulk Power Pack. I think that was issue <gasps> three or four. I'm not sure. I don't remember this cover. I don't either. Fun. Yeah. Um, Oh, you had, so, like, you had a giant so, yellow jacket back there. Yeah, so they allowed me to do, you know, marker colors because I wanted it to be like I'm drawing, and it, it's for the uh, all ages. So I wanted people who are all ages to feel like, oh, these are drawings. You know what I mean? And yeah. You're having fun, and there's not perfect, you know, digital color and all that kind of stuff. But this was the the, the the pencils and the grays before I color. Okay, so it. this this wasn't ink. This is just really tight. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. And then here's what the uh, finished piece looked like. <laughs> oh yeah. Now they made me change the color of the background because it, it, <laughs> I told them I said, hey, you know, I'm doing this stuff in marker. You know, changing stuff is kind of difficult once it's down. But I turned it yellow. Um, just I guess make it a little brighter, so yeah, the, just to make it pop. Yeah. But I actually wanted all of that stuff pushed back, so you focus in on the Hulk and the kids, and where it's all bright right there, mm -hmm. um, and not make the other characters pop so much. But it was fine; it turned out fine. <clears throat> yeah, I love your marker rendering. <clears throat> so that's good, a, dude. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it was fun. It was did you fun. get Did you get a painted rate for that, or was it just? Uh, yes, I did actually. They gave me a painted rate. No, yeah. oh, all right. Wow. <clears throat> Very nice. I love that giant yellow jacket. I like the weird character. That's Wolverine. <laughs> oh, oh, is that with oh. <laughs> That's a yellow outfit. No, yellow jacket I mean, was in the background. I'm oh. easily confused. 
Yeah, yeah he was like behind the building. It was like a yeah. like giant man, but he was yellow jacket. Yeah. Oh. Come on, Kelsey, wake up. I don't know. I read manga for crying out loud. He's black and white. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you use that for uh, pretty much Gary. any excuse when you're in court, you know, for yes. testing a, 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 a speeding ticket. That, and you say, Judge, cut me a break. I read manga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing kilometers per hour. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> All I see is speed lines. You know what I'm saying, Your Honor? <laughs> speed lines. Oh. Praying for that weeb judge that might be out there somewhere. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Right. I love manga. Free. <laughs> Did you read Appleseed? And I'd be going, what? And then they'd be hauling me away. I'm um, screaming. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, what have you got for us? Um, I'm just going to sit on the stuff I want to put up for auction later, the stuff behind me. So they'll have to wait for that to see this stuff. Oh, oh that, well, I see the shadow piece back there that writes in shadow piece. Oh, yeah. Geez, Gary, you're going to make me bid on that. Um, <laughs> all right. Kelsey, how about you? So well, you as always, I like to kind of show off the piece I did last week because I'm too lazy to scan it in and, and post it online. So uh, there's the uh, said apple seed that I uh, showed and showed to the judge for leniency, but. <laughs> It didn't really work. He uh, <laughs> locked me away. So uh, there's this one. Um, I don't know if I, this one's going to go up on there, but I, I was thinking of, I had like a couple pieces I was going to put up. I'm going to go ahead and show mine uh, just because I don't have anything else to show. But I thought about giving, uh, doing the uh, the Schwarzenegger collection of uh, Predator and uh, Schwarzenegger from Commando. That's so awesome. uh, yeah. And maybe her if we got enough time. But uh, I'm just going to do the uh, Schwarzenegger collection today. <laughs> maybe uh, somebody can have them both so it looks like they're fighting each other. Maybe. Is two co technically a collection? Uh, yeah. yeah okay. right. <laughs> now, I have some collections that are just one thing. It's all I own. So it's two, my collection. Two is, a, of, two is a couple of pieces. Three is a collection. Yeah. Oh, uh I'll have to throw in a, another. What's another Schwarzenegger movie? Yeah, uh, quick, do a, do a, a I'll do. A, I'll do. A, I'll do a, what's the one where they're brothers with Danny DeVito? Uh, twins. <laughs> twins. I'll do twins. You have to work in a twin sketch today in between the EC horror. <laughs> I'll have Schwarzenegger uh, uh, being killed by Danny DeVito, so he's the only <laughs> best brother. <laughs> No, make make him combine, make him his vestigial twin coming out of his. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh that's great! Oh. oh, you like that? Yeah, it's like the man, the man with be... like the man with two heads with uh, Rosie Greer. Yeah, Rosie <laughs> Greer, Ray <laughs> Milan, popping out of Schwarzenegger, going, "Hey, we're brothers!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> that be awesome. I'd watch that movie in a heartbeat. Cap <laughs> Captain Bipto says Kelsey is the missing link between the twins. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, that was fun. I was um, the one that threw away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, actually, I have some stuff to show because I went to a um I went to a convention. This last weekend, the East Bay Comic Con was a one day show. I guess it should technically be called the, the East Bay Comic Show, but it, they call it a con. So, anyway, uh, Flesk Publishing was there, John Flesk. And you guys may or may not know that uh, they recently kickstarted oh. this Art of Arthur Adams book. I showed that my copy of that a couple of weeks ago. Oh, did you? I was. Yeah, thinking. but it looks like you you ponied up for the. the I got the, the sign. Yeah, I, I got the soft there. the soft That's cover. You got the is it still on cover. there? Can you still get it, or can you yeah, get you it can online? Plus publications or whatever it is. Plus yeah, mine came with a little oh. sign plate in it. Man, I want one. That looks fantastic! Wow. Yeah. There's a ton of Marvel art and the, and the stuff that I thought, and you know, along with his other stuff, it's like a 40 year retrospect, but check this out. Wow. This was cool. I, you, you get past the introduction here and here's his tryout pages for Marvel from 1982. Yeah. Nice. 
So Go back to that photo of all his pens. There's like a couple, one page back. Yeah, yeah look at it. All, all those pens, gone. and they're all like zero, zero, 001 probably. <laughs> yeah, actually they are. Now there's an 8 in there and a 2, and he's got all kinds. I'm guessing he likes Micron. Yeah, that's what he goes with, man. A lot of people, that's what Cho does too. Cho uses Microns. And the funny it thing is. is, Cho looks like he inks with a brush, but he doesn't. It's all Microns. So you got guys that ink with a brush to make it look like a pen, and you got guys who ink with pens to make it look like a brush. Never <laughs> and me, who inks with fire. Yes, I also now I also pick Ooh. up uh, Gary Gianni. I love Gary Gianni, so good. There's there's a great collection of both uh, color work in here, and uh, some really uh, some of his uh, pencil drawings, and like uh, the stage processes from, you know. Uh, pencil drawing to painting. Uh, He's like a legitimate artist, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like a real yeah. artist. And it happens to comics. This pen and ink stuff, very Joseph Clement Cole, don't you think? Yeah. That's why I was always into his stuff, though. <clears throat> when he showed up in the back of Hellboy back in the day, I was like, who the hell is this? Wow. Yeah, who is this guy? Yeah, I always hate that. You see guys that you've never heard of before, and their work is amazing. Yeah. I hate them right away yeah, hate him instantly <laughs> but yeah there's all sorts of like uh this is all based on uh george r r martin's seven kingdoms whatever that is i assume it has something to do with game of thrones but uh and then uh frank uh, saucy uh, cho um think... wow so good and this is i think i think this pen and ink stuff some of the stuff he does with a ballpoint pen in here is is just nuts what i always what confused me is when he'll put out a post saying i got some new pens and then he'll do this piece and i'm like you had to have drained every pen to do that piece so <laughs> what's the point of buying new pens yeah there is some nudity in here so i gotta be careful i don't want to get us in trouble but um joe loves his boobies yeah yeah those naked apes sir there Look is at that. Right. see if you can buy that for a uh, kid carter yeah, yeah, really yeah. I should have hired him to do a cover, shouldn't I? Yeah, he'd be perfect. I got I some know. Red Sony stuff. But anyway, there's a ton of stuff in here they gave this to me because it was ding. I didn't even have to pay for it. So, oh. um, and as far as auction goes, we're going to, this guy's going up for auction today. Uh, nice. Calvin and Hobbes. And uh, probably uh, like maybe a piece of manga or something that uh, <laughs> I might have recently created on this stream might be going up. Um, uh -oh, uh oh, Angela says she saw a nip. I, I know. Go. I'm sorry. I was trying to. I was trying not to do that, but uh, we're gonna get demonetized today. Know, Thank you, Aaron. Jeez. Yeah. No. Well, here goes that 15 cents of ad revenue right there. <laughs> go along with my Marvel check. I can't find who said it, but somebody said Kelsey uh, uh, Frazetta painted with fire. Uh, so I guess that means I painted with like lukewarm coals, maybe, um, if he's painting with fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, how do we fit into that big scheme of things there? Uh, if Frazetta fire, we're uh, definitely ice, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While you're looking, it reminds me, uh, Angela Curry being in the chat, that it was uh, a few nights ago, I think it was on one of Ethan's streams, where she she was talking about something, and then and then a bunch of guys in the chat were asking questions about Angela. I was like, oh, uh -oh. is she single? What does she look like? And, and <laughs> <laughs> Angela. And Angela played it cool. She just she didn't say anything. And so So the mystery is still... <laughs> That's but how you gotta do it. Getting a following. Let him well, wonder. You know, uh, a woman named Angela uh, came by and saw me at uh, San Diego and um, bought a. Um, I was getting rid of look, what I, what I used to do at, at San Diego is I would you'd get those um, uh, extendable banners for behind your table. And then you're like, I don't want to drag these home. So I'd sell them at the show so I didn't have to take them back. <laughs> oh, wow. And she I bought did. my Nouveau Wonder Woman from me. And her name was Angela. And I didn't ask her if she was Angela Curry. 
and she was very friendly. So I didn't know if she was just friendly or if she was friendly because she, you know, knew of me from, you know, the YouTube or whatever. And uh, so I wonder if that was Angela that I met or if it was a different Angela. Now, yes. see, if it was the Everyone actual knows. Angela, she, she would have um, treated you with a lack of respect. <laughs> that's probably true. Yeah, this woman was really nice, so it couldn't have been Angela. <laughs> All right. She's like, I'm not going to buy anything. I just wanted to see if you were actually as weird in person as uh, I no, she found out the truth. <laughs> Better not to meet your, uh, I'm not going to say heroes. That would be a gross overstatement, but it's. Oh, uh, look, evil one's getting in on it. He's like, uh, uh, Angela, what's up? <laughs> Stop. Yeah, see, Angela? <laughs> yeah, she's got a following. Oh, okay. I want to know. I want to know. Um, just kind of roughly. Look at David's already tapped out. Show's over. Um, <laughs> he's like, wait a minute. I have to draw EC. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> So, Kelsey, I know that you and I, I, I have no idea what David's going to do, and he probably wouldn't tell us anyway. We'll just have to watch the bat ears slowly form on his drawing. Um, but uh, we're going to try and create a scene that would be apropos to an EC horror comic. Is that not mm. the case? Are you going to Are you gonna do like a joined piece? No, I'm not going to get no. that crazy. But uh, Well, you know those great images that they have that tell a complete story in, in where, you know, somebody's walking with a head but the body's following behind trying to get the head back you know just some storytelling horror piece that you usually see in like ec and they, they were just some of the best this is perfect what story. i used yeah, to, uh, yeah this is perfect right gives the girl gives his wife the christmas present which is a coffin and he's about ready to lop her head off <laughs> yeah it's it's great <laughs> good time good times at christmas See, that's something imagine? David could do with Batman, have him, you know, wielding an axe. Right yeah, he's going to kill Robin. Joker once and Robin. for all. Oh, yeah, Robin. Here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah whatever happened him. to Tim Drake. Or no, who's the one that got killed? <laughs> it was, which was which it, is the Robin that got wasted? I was forget. it Tim? No, was it Tim Drake? It might have been Tim Drake. I can't remember. There's so many Robins and so little time to kill them all. Well, maybe yeah. that's maybe that's the gag is that uh, there's a whole bunch of, there's like little little coffins behind you know and this is the new one he's, he he gets a robin to like murder him each time yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dave is not even here to hear these great uh, ideas <laughs> and that's good all right this is the one this is I got to show this one because this is one of my uh... Jason Todd they're saying okay Jason, oh, Jason Todd. that's right Jason Todd I'm sorry what, what, what did I miss rush. Uh, nothing. Uh, we're, nothing. Okay. Yeah, we're just nothing. talking we're about, talking about you. you. No great ideas for you. No, oh. we weren't talking about that at all. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> like this, I love this one. Judas Priest of nine eight. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's a reprint. Okay, uh, but that uh, cover, that classic cover right there. Now you know when um, Gaines had to go in front of the Senate during the Wortham trials in the fifties. Holy smokes! David's eating. Um, they asked him about this cover and they say, wouldn't you say this is in poor taste or something like that? And he said, no, he goes, if I showed the blood dripping off her neck, that would have been in poor taste. <laughs> <laughs> um, sustained. Isn't it like similar to what Wrightson said of, of, um, what was that poster that he did? Mementos. Oh yeah, with all the where the, the guys, yeah, the guys leaning on a fence, and there's all those heads, heads and these guys, and, and he was criticized for it, and you know that that's, it was too graphically violent, and he said no, it would have been more violent if if it was the, the fence post had hands and feet. Yeah, he said that <laughs> like, would have been disgusting. This that is would have been yeah. That was it would have been way more violent if I didn't get paid for it. And uh, right. yeah, you then you would have seen violence. <laughs> well, that was the weird thing about some of Wrightson's posters. You know, it's like I would buy those posters, put them on my wall, and people would come over and think I was just a freaking psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a you know this severed yeah. head type? And you're just like, I don't know, it's Wrightson, man. You That's know? why Angela <laughs> they was there. They didn't get it. <laughs> That's why Angela was there. She wanted to see for herself. <laughs> mm. Uh, before you start, Aaron, you've got a um, a super chat, and Holy I've decided 
that I'm going to start a new uh, system of, of notice that anything anything uh, below five dollars gets that's your notice. <laughs> <laughs> From five dollars to twenty, it's <laughs> and okay. twenty dollars and above. That doesn't work, Gary. I didn't yeah. hear it. Yeah, it's the silent call. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So we get so for five dollars. The mic is is trying not to. Yeah, the condenser mic is like trying. To... <laughs> uh, evil one for five dollars. Thank you. Said none but the lonely heart, funeral disease, out of his head, shadow of death, country clubbing, uh, easel kill ya, and lower birth are some of my EC favorite tales. This guy's read a few, apparently. Yeah. Um. I see Kelsey's starting, so I should quit lollygagging. <laughs> and uh, not waiting. David is uh, is eating, so I don't even think he's going to participate today. Um, okay, so guys, what we're going to do after we finish up, we're going to go right into the auction. So that'll probably we'll, well I'll definitely start at four thirty, and uh, so we'll be have this. We'll we'll do the drawing portion of our show till four thirty. We'll go right into the auction. We're going to move it along, so don't be a slow bidder. And um, and hopefully uh, wrap it up within an hour because Graham Nolan is launching um, his Watch return to Island yeah. today, and we don't want to encroach on his uh, his launching time too much. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. Awesome. Yeah, I like uh, Monster Island. I'm really yeah, excited I'm about that. Looking forward to that book. Yeah, Graham's like me. He uh, he creates comics people want to read. Just like me. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, I, just, I, just, I, just, I wanted. I wanted to yeah, mention. Yeah, I agree with half of that statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> All right. So okay, here's something that's been bothering me, and now let's see what you guys think about this. Something else, you mean? Yeah, well, yeah. This is the this is the latest thing that's been bothering me. Yeah, what is Aaron's beef, part one? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you go you go on uh, like Instagram or something, and for some reason, I've, I've developed this habit. And when I wake up in the morning, my phone alarm goes off. I grab it, and then I go on Instagram and start like to wake up. I I, I stroll I, or scroll through videos and stuff, right? And so. You always see these guys going just with weird stuff. And this one person said, if you have dry, cracked feet, you know, you can put toothpaste on it and that'll you fill in the cracks and it'll work to just soften your feet. And I went, what? okay, so what you're telling me is go to the, to the drugstore and pick up toothpaste to put on my dry and cracked feet when I could go to the drugstore and pick up stuff that's like balm that's meant to put on your feet. How are you saving any money or how is that like a, a better option to put toothpaste on your feet than it is to go get like Burt's Bees or something with some wax and put it on your feet? That the that's question, what it made. The question, is, the, question, the, the question is, why doesn't the toothpaste soften your teeth? Now we're, see, now we're getting someplace. It... Well, it's unfathomable to me that you would okay, okay, here's another one. These guys I just saw this the other day. He's like, <laughs> hold on a second, Aaron, before you move on, I'm still thinking about the toothpaste thing. If if toothpaste softens skin, can you use uh foot ointment to brush your teeth with? <laughs> we might be onto something. We lost Kelsey, by the way. <laughs> I think. He he went. He's ran out to get some toothpaste. Yeah, I ran out. Yeah. <laughs> Eureka! I'm out of here. Well, okay. So here's the other one. So this guy, and this is literally a thing. He says, buy a liter of Coke, and he pours his Coke in the tub. Then he's like, add you know vinegar, right? Add um, some dishwashing liquid, and then add some rock salt or something else, right? Let it sit overnight. And it'll clean the grime off your pans, your pots and pans. I'm like, or 
I can go to the store and get some pots and pan cleaner rather than <laughs> go in there and buy a Coke, uh, dishwashing liquid, baking soda, vinegar, and mix this crap up. I mean, it's just... See, that's the, yeah, the, the fault in the premise is they think you have all of this stuff on hand. <laughs> it works like magic. So, it's like MacGyver, you know, he's got yeah, all this. Exactly. Junk you're, you're... It, yeah. At first, you're intrigued by it, and you say, "Wow, oh, I wonder if that works." And then you're thinking, "Why would I spend the next hour putting this stuff together just to see if it'll clean the bottom of that pan when I've got this this <laughs> pan cleaner sitting right here?" Uh, uh, um, Toshiro says, "Glad we found out what Aaron does during the during his morning dump." <laughs> <laughs> I <was> wondered. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying that uh, I'm just so now we know it's like when we see morning Twitter messages from you, we know we can picture what you're doing. So you wonder... did uh, uh, sci fi stuff too, right? Correct, yeah, okay, but that's not what got voted on. Oh, shoot, that's right. You got it, you got to do like it's got to be like kind of a horror angle to it. David, you have Kelsey's number, don't you? Yeah. Will you call him and ask him what he's doing? Because <laughs> he's not on, and he's not in the green room. So I don't know if his uh, if his hamster ran let me, out. I, of let me see if he wrote me in. Uh... David, did you hear when we were talking about suggesting you ha have uh, Batman wielding an axe? That could be the horror part. Okay. <laughs> Getting ready to kill Robin was, I think, basically what we were – suggesting might yeah be. recreate the cover that aaron showed only fat men and robin oh my gosh that's hilarious i'm doing that screw you david i'm doing it i just wrote him marcus killiger says i post daily romina romance covers in the am just saying <laughs> <laughs> well i i don't know you know, I, I read stuff and then I kind of absorb it and it's okay for a while. Then it starts to irritate me and I'm starting, <laughs> to, I'm starting to go, what is really going on here? <clears throat> Did you Stand know up here suggesting a Joker as Crypt Keeper? I like that. I got to do a scene though. Um, have you seen the one where they pour Coke? And apparently Coca-Cola is the most toxic thing you can put in your body because they're always using it for like cleaning and uh, transforming molecules and things like that. And it was like, isn't this a drink that uh, most pe you know, people in the. Yeah. If you put it like on a dead battery, it takes off some of the corrosion. Yeah. And it's like, I'm supposed to drink this. Thanks for joining us, Kelsey. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> um, so. What happened this there. guy this guy puts together this tub of um coke and i can't remember if you put anything else in it but then you like you put a straw no <laughs> you put <laughs> you put eggs in there like whole eggs not cracked or anything in the shell and then like you leave them overnight and they they're like transparent rubber when you wake up in the morning have you seen this no <laughs> what i want to know if it works has anybody done this I would be interested to see if that works. You mean put put something in Coke and then it turns into well, it's an, an egg. egg. You took like a, a whole raw, egg, not cracked, raw, raw egg, right? Yeah, and he said it in this. Well, he took several, but uh, uh, allegedly it turns them into like this clear rubber substance in them by the morning. I don't I know. know. That that should have happened to my stomach long yeah, ago I mean, if that was the case. <laughs> We did a, a thing in, in when I was in elementary school where we took a glass of Coke and, and dropped a tooth in it. And I can't remember the the time involved, but it, it was like acid. I mean, the tooth just dissolved. <laughs> it, took, it, it took a couple of weeks, but the tooth literally. <laughs> well, there was rumors that like, this this goes around every couple of years, and MythBusters debunked a couple of these. Like that, you can clean rust off a bumper with Coca Cola. Right. Debunked, you know. Uh, so I don't know. Yeah, but the tooth one, unless the the teacher was up to no good at you know, at right. Night. 
we, we saw, I mean, it, it was there for a while and we could see the, it slowly, you know. They're teachers. Of course, they're up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, the, what, well, what is, the, what is in Coke besides just like 90% sugar? And I mean, there's got to be something else in there that's doing all this corrosive, uh, allegedly, um, stuff. As acid. <laughs> I don't know. I know, but they're not putting acid in Coke. Yeah, well, they used to put Coke in Coke. Don't you That's read the, Coke. Yeah, don't you read the label, Aaron? It's ingredient: water, sugar, battery acid. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you not consume. You know, it's like all poison control. And uh, oh my gosh, have you you saw that? Do you guys see the one where the guy like supposedly he put like uh, tap water? in the microwave and then uh, used it to water his plants and then regular water and the microwave water killed his plant, but the uh, regular water didn't. And I was like, is that really a thing? Why would you put mi microwaved hot water in your plant anyway? Well, he's he's trying to make a point, I guess, that, that we shouldn't be microwaving water because if it'll kill this plant, what is it doing inside you? I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's the hot water that did yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All the water on your plant. Well, I don't know. Call me a skeptic. Uh, could be the hot water. <laughs> Caleb Reynolds is saying phosphoric phosphoric acid. That doesn't sound good. Doesn't that stuff glow? Isn't that what they put on people like in the – Isn't that that Scooby-Doo episode where the seaweed was glowing and it had phosphorus on it or something? I don't generally get my science from Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. Yeah. I've never checked those scientific journals. Uh, yeah, yeah that's a flaw in your your science education, uh, <laughs> there, Aaron. Wizard, Wizard sleeves says hot water instantly kills plants. Mm. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> okay, well, maybe then. Yeah, we're debunking everything here today. Be <laughs> Okay, well, I feel better now that we've discussed all this. <laughs> yeah, there was another thing the Mythbusters did that supposedly uh, salsa could uh, eat through uh, bars, uh, like metal bars, so that you can escape like a prison cell or something like that. <laughs> and they just put salsa all over the bars until it was a complete mess. It never did anything. Or <laughs> What uh, prison is serving salsa? <laughs> Uh, the Mexican ones, obviously. <laughs> right? I don't even know. I don't think they serve salsa in Mexican prisons. I don't. Uh, the, the, the prison that uh, the Booty Warrior is at. <laughs> yeah. What prison serves salsa? The good ones. Uh, yeah. uh, Aaron, Tashiro says, careful, Aaron, you might get a jar of pickled Coke eggs in your peel oh, box. <laughs> I might eat them. That's the thing. <laughs> Pantheon <laughs> says, I don't know about you guys, but I get my science from Johnny Quest. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that goes without saying, doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> they wouldn't put it on TV for kids if it wasn't true. A guy, in his, a guy in his room, I don't know what he's referring to, but his comment is, that's so idiotic. Just in general, everything about the yeah. show, maybe. I know. <laughs> yeah. That covers 90% of what we're doing. Speaking <laughs> truth. The whole thing is idiotic. Why am I here? Okay, hold on. Caleb Reynolds is laying some science on us. Uh -oh. The temp of water affects how many oxygen molecules can be used. A lower temp, the plant can take up more oxygen. Mm. See, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, it sounds I'll buy it. Yeah. Sounds, sounds good to me. Consult tube. Yeah, uh, when you, you use molecule in a sentence, then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good to me. This yeah. guy, he's talking about. Kelsey, you started over. Uh yeah, because I I framed it wrong. I need to needed to pull it over. I'm doing it again. I can't like center my damn drawing for some reason. And I'm I can't already, draw monsters. I'm not a good monster guy. I'm already concerned that I may uh, I may have bit enough more than I can chew here. <laughs> uh, drawing the what are you drawing? I've got a uh, multi-character scene going here, and uh, uh oh, 
Yeah, that's what I got that's going on. That one too. So, uh, I'm <sighs> sure. trying to get those sweet Bernie Wrights and fingers. Uh, mm, nothing oh, like it. <clears throat> I love me. Uh, he, yeah, he knew how to work oh, those fingers. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Love gnarled, veiny. Okay, Aaron. <laughs> oh, that went well. Ah, you're gonna you could have to you have to work on your party favors, Gary. I don't know what it sounds like on the other end. Fox Mulder for 20 big ones. Thank you, Fox. Appreciate that. He says, Aaron, mentioning Flesk reminds me of the new Dodson art book. You asked Terry to do a cover for Wraith of God, do you believe the cancel culture stuff had subsided enough? He'd be willing to do another cover maybe for KC Second Chance. Uh, no. Oh, he would, uh, that wow. would be, he would, he would do that fantastic job on that. Yeah, but uh, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't count on that ever happening. So, oh. Unfortunately, but uh, it, uh, I am a pariah. Is that the right word in the industry? Uh, That's how I describe you. Yeah, mm. they really no, they really targeted me for some reason, maybe because I'm just a uh, an oldie, and they were really pissed off that I uh, went Comicsgate. But yeah, I I've, I've heard somebody call you a piranha. That was, <laughs> that's what it was. That could be that could be it. Um, that damn oppressive is a piranha. It's like okay, can I, can I do uh, Superman? Oh. Super, Superman breaking Zod's neck. <laughs> yeah, that's the best part of that movie, right? If you have a decapitated chick in the background, yes. I'll decapitate Zod. I don't know. It's up to the chat. It's up to the chat. If they're going to put up with this kind of crap from you, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> who, who am I to say otherwise? Put up a poll. I'm not putting up a poll. That actually. <laughs> <laughs> I would take too much time. Are you, uh, and you'd actually have to know how to do it, which is uh, the two things I don't I don't have I don't have the knowledge. Yeah, you're not getting uh well, some are saying you can do whatever you want and some are saying no. How about <laughs> Joker beating Jason Todd with the crowbar, but you see it. Now we're getting <laughs> now we're getting closer. <laughs> yeah, how about this? How about the Joker holding like a dead robin, like by the collar? And then behind him, Batman has an axe. And he's about ready to lop off Joker's head. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about, David. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Yeah, well, see, uh, War Bit got it right. Gary never draws on these streams. He just sits there and judges the rest of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now you're catching on. That's why, he, that's why he gets paid the big bucks, man. That's right. I I can feel his judgment all over my piece right now. This is why I'm like nervous. I feel like I need a shower. A cloud, yeah. a cloud of judgment hanging in the air. Uh, <laughs> did you hear the story about um, <clears throat> it was uh, OJ's son that actually? I did uh, hear that. And and how it happened was is that. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. OJ Simpson's son? Yeah. yeah. Set the stage here. Okay, you know OJ okay. went to prison for murdering uh, Nicole, Nicole Brown. Uh, yeah, and, but the uh, way the way it happened is that his son wanted to borrow the car and went to his dad and said, "Dad, can I borrow the car?" And he said, "No, go ask your mother." Oh come on! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I thought you were talking about the real rumor. Yeah. <laughs> there actually is a real uh, uh, conspiracy theory that this he was covering for his son. <clears throat> that there's all this like uh, online discourse about about how uh, his son like hated her or something. Or uh, there's all all how that's old, probably been how old was he the son during that time? Oh, he was in his like twenties or thirties oh, really? even. Yeah, he was that. an older guy. Um, I mean, that's it's all speculation, of course. But uh, unless they prove it, uh, but I don't know. Some of the some of the stuff they were coming up with, which I can't remember because that was ages ago. But <laughs> I have uh, never heard this. No. Yeah, pretty fascinating. Uh, heads up, guys. Queen Mickey is in the chat. 
Uh, I, uh, Mike Byrne just said that we're going to do a, an interview with uh, uh, for Nexus with uh, oh, Queen excellent. Mickey. Excellent. Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of any of this. Uh, John without an H for two dollars. Thank you, Johnny. Says to the Graybeards exercise program. Yeah, you know, that's going to go a long way. That might get us to drive by a gym and look in the window. <laughs> but thank you, uh, Aaron. You missed one. <laughs> yeah, you know, I did. There's John. Okay. Part one, Gary moving four supers, so I'm contributing. And then part two is do the Graybeard's exercise program. Uh, part one, Gary moving four supers, so I'm contributing $2 to the Graybeard's exercise program. Can we get some sort of – can I get that in English? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I follow this. Four supers. Super chats. Yeah. Okay. So part Gary moving for super chats. So I'm contributing to Graybeard's exercise. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, because he has to move to uh... Gary moving for super chats. So by giving us super chats, he's contributing to our exercise fund. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean it was, you, it was you a counting me reaching to get there. It was a complicated road to get there, but reaching for my prop as exercise. Yes. That's the most you've ever moved on this show. I know. <laughs> straight, straight Toaster says, Aaron's going to start salivating like Pavlov's dog every time he hears that whistle. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. You should God. bring that to a convention and just do that right behind him. <laughs> See That's if he has that funny. response. Just... just Pouring out of my mouth, I'm like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> where's the super chat? Where's the super chat? Um, I'm gonna have I'm to not... break the ink on this because I'm not what? if I don't. I'm blue lining it pretty rough, and then I'm gonna have to go right to inks, or I've got no chance of getting this done. That's I'm right, because you put the time limit on yourself, you can't. Um, I did. Yeah, you said 4.30. That's a hard deadline. I know it is. Hey, it's 5 o'clock now. Oh, so we only got half an hour? Yeah, before. that's right. We're, we're moving backwards in time, Kelsey. <laughs> in negative like, 30 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 3 o'clock here, Kelsey. Oh, okay. So you have an hour and a half. Uh, I'm going to need it. I can't draw monsters. I just well, realized draw this. Draw a monster. Draw a dude but ready to hack his wife or something. You can do that. Hang on. Squibs is claiming the show keeps getting better each episode. Well, he's not watching the same show, apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's watching Zade Comics right now. He's yeah, just he's commenting like, in the wrong. Oh, he yeah. is, man. He's rocking it. <laughs> the people in the chat are wondering what David is drawing. He's so are we. You're not the only ones wondering what that he's drawing. Oh, I think I've got something here now. I'm I'm kind of uh, kind of feeling okay now. Uh, I'm glad. <laughs> well, see, I, if you can suffer through half as much of what you made me suffer through for manga, uh, I, I'm feeling pretty good. It's pretty I mean, obvious I could draw manga all day and not and not break a sweat, but then you give me some monsters and I'm doomed. <laughs> But it's, you know, I, I thought, I really thought that, you know, creating a scene that's like right down your alley. And I thought, he's going to come up with something really clever. And, of course, you're letting me down. But that's okay. Because... I'm merely setting expectations. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case things don't exactly work out. It's only a sketch. Unless it's good. <laughs> that's right. It's only a sketch. It's our motto. <laughs> Which I'm very, Straight I'm toaster. very approving of. Mm. Straight toaster says, "Shout out to Aaron's, the professionals, comic artists that you may not know about, but you should. Good stuff. That was I, our, thank you. That was our episode last night. We uh, talked about, uh, you know, some of our favorite guys that were were not John Buscema and Romita and Stranko and all those guys we always mm. talk about. And uh, guys came up with some really good, you know, 
Shout out to Frega for spotlighting uh, Tony Salmons, man. I, yeah. I'm a big fan of Salmons. Watch I watched a little bit of it. I caught yeah, that, that was, part. Yeah, that, that was, was fun. You know, it's interesting about that, that um, I I was at a, like I said, I was at a show this weekend and I got to quit gesticulating while I'm talking and then just keep going. <laughs> but um, I was at a show and I was talking with Le Steve Lealaw and um, Brent Anderson and Anderson was talking about when he first went to Marvel, like in the seventies or whatever. And at Tony Salmon's, what he was he, like, he was a classmate of Tony Salmon's and they went together, I guess. Oh, and then nice. here it is. Cool. Here you got Fraga talking about Tony Salmon's right there. He, on the Aaron, he was just so original. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh, Jesus. Holy <laughs> Moses. What the heck? Um, we got a couple. Evil One says, uh, for $5, thank you, Evil One. Appreciate it. He says, Corman's Calamity is a uh, Tales from the Crypt episode about an EC Comics artist art that comes to life and kills. What monsters do you guys want to come to life and kill? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, that's a good question, actually. Well, I'll tell you, actually, I do think about stuff like this because I think <laughs> if I could send something over to Kelsey's house, what would I send? No, um, <clears throat> I, I think mummies. I was always sort of like, uh, yeah. I was always afraid when I was a kid that actually they would come to life. <laughs> so the mummy would be my thing, choice. You could always you could outrun them. That's yeah, true, but they're so cool and creepy though. Are they <clears throat> creepy? But just you know, you could skip away from them. It depends on the 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 the. You said a mummy or yeah. zombies? Oh yeah, mummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love mummies. I, I was gonna say the blob for the exact same reason that I could probably escape it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Remember when it filled up that movie theater? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, you just don't get trapped in a. Uh, well, yeah, but you don't know that you're in the movie theater and suddenly the blob is there. It's too late, man. Oh, uh, that. That other one that it follows one was creepy as hell because you never know who or what it's going to show up as, and it just follows you. Uh, you ever see that? It follows. It follows. No. No. Yeah, that was creepy. It's like uh, a basically, it's like a sexually transmitted disease almost. Oh, so now, like, see, now you're really making me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, like, that's I just an allegory. You should I check it out. Really I was like, oh. Um, John for two dollars. On H says Gary. Next week, effect effects need to be the cowbell. There you go. Yeah. Improve your if you're gonna bring if you're gonna bring uh, special effects, Gary. You're gonna have to do a little bit better. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to uh, you know do some There's, research and yeah, different. I mean, I don't want to say it's a weak effort, but geez. Well, I mean, I just I'm just using what I <laughs> what I had on hand, so I'm gonna have oh, to. Uh, yeah, but you know, some of us. Well, okay, I plan for the show. Um, <laughs> you know, the least you guys could do is once in a while. Yeah, I had to, I had to dig into my toy box. Yeah, there you go. I don't know what you're talking about, Aaron. I planned to do the show. Of course I <laughs> planned. <laughs> like, what, what more could you possibly want? <laughs> I planned. Aaron. Are you kidding Wow. Me? Victor for buck ninety nine. He says manga are like oh my gosh. Here we go. More Latin from Vic. Uh, <laughs> manga are like highly rendered comic strips. Thank you for that, Victor. <laughs> I agree. I, I'm... <laughs> there are, it was. Uh, that you was see, it just drop a, a few bucks and and whatever thought is currently in your head, you can express it. No, wait a minute. Hang on a second. So. <sighs> Would it be wrong of me to yes. say that this is this is such a statement, an obvious statement that he deserves this? <laughs> and you actually cannonball somebody when they give you money? I just did I just did it. Come on, Vic. Jeez. Next time you're gonna next thing you're gonna do is tell me the sky is blue. <laughs> Let's go for double or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if he'll do it again. <laughs> It'll be worth. I like it. Angela's idea of getting one of those little popper things that shoots confetti, like That's over good. twenty. Oh yeah, for, for you got a mess to clean up. Fifty then. and over. Yeah. And and Queen Mickey wants to know if I'm going to send her uh, some artwork for her show so she can 
set it on fire to make my artwork more valuable? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Oh, look at this precedent that Kelsey set on her show. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll show everybody the Nexus pages we're working on, then I'll set them all on fire. And say, <laughs> hey, wait a Too bad. Now, hang on a second. Didn't somebody do that? And they got, got all, I'm not talking about Miller. I'm talking about uh, somebody lit their art, original artwork on fire. It, and it, Ryan Otley did that. Like I got Ryan, really mad at him for that. Yeah, people got really pissed. I, I wrote him. I was like, look, please, this stuff is kind of like comic book history. If you don't want it, send it to me or somebody like Randy Stradley or somebody who, who no, not Randy. Who's the guy that does? He's on my mind because of you, but no. The who's the guy that does the collections, the art collections or the artist editions? Oh, uh um, Scott Doom Beer. Doom Beer. Yeah, yeah, send them to somebody like that to archive and just keep it around. I, I just, it just gutted me watching him burn that stuff. Yeah. Wizard Sleeves, uh, he's saying my computer has sound effects. You just hit the hot key. I don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. For my your sound makers. effects? You got to, yeah, you got to, you got to consider the stores here, gentlemen. Wizard Sleeves, you know, come on. Help me out here. Gary doesn't have wizard sleeves. He can't do these complex uh, That's right. things. That's right. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've got to have wizard sleeves to be able to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> so one other cool thing I picked up that I didn't show because it's tucked away in my flat files, and I'm not going to go dig it out. Probably not going to go <laughs> dig it out. And uh, <laughs> hang on a second. I'll go get it. Okay, uh, good. But, um, I'm aching here. Stop that. The um, uh, Steve Leolo was there as I mentioned at the show, and he had acquired a apparently a stat of the original page, uh, the first um, page one of Howard the Duck number one, which he gave to Frank Bruner. And so he got it, and he, he was telling me that that Bruner did the coloring on it and wasn't really satisfied with it. But we were talking about how you know times had changed, kind of thing, and he was like. Uh, he goes, I need to fix this and this, but yeah, I got to send it off. So there it goes. And he just sent <laughs> it off. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. So he went back in and retouched the color on this. And so what he did was he made this 11 by 17 print that it's, it's basically, um, oh, I'll go get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to explain it to death and then he's asking. Yeah, he's like, I'm, not, I'm not drawing while I'm talking anyway. I might as well just go get it. I thought, I thought the story was going to be Steve Lee Aloha went, uh, oh, hey, Aaron, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you work on? Why are yeah. you here? Yeah, why what are you Lee here? Lee Aloha is one of the, one of the underrated uh, ink artists in comics. I mean, his, well, his stuff is, is, is amazing. He was, yeah, he was I've always done his stuff. He He's really, really was good. Okay, so here it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he basically got the, and you can see the little uh, oh, that's great. guides on the, so this is actually, and you can see that was pasted up on there. So this is actually the paste up, and he went in and, and adjusted the color, fixed the color, and then he's selling these as prints. So it's like this really heavy duty kind of uh, photo print of the first page of Hard Deck number one. Of course, I had him sign it down here. So now cool. I've got to go hunt down Frank Bruner and then get him to sign the other side of this. That's cool. Yeah, I, yeah. I have to admit that the first Bruner stuff I ever saw was this Howard stuff. Yeah, and, me too. You know, so I thought Bruner was a genius, and then I saw him inked by somebody else, and and I I had to revise. You know. <laughs> and, and, no, seriously, so Bruner, real layout, you know, was was really uh, masterful on him, and also when he inked Gene Colan on the Howard the Duck. Well, Duff that's Bro. the that's the thing that he said. He goes, he really got because he was very young when he did this. And he said he really got thrown to the fire because he said he had Bruner on the first two issues, John Buscema on the third issue, then he had a colon on the, starting on the fourth issue. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> that trial yeah, by fire, guys. man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, those the, his inks on on Gene Colan were were amazing. L E C G four. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh, wait a okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> 
LECG for my PP. LECG <laughs> for my PP. Five dollars. Thank you. Is it duck season? No, it's wabbit season. Duck season, wabbit season. Fire. Elmer shoots Daffy. That's all, folks. Wow. What incredible contributions we're getting. To <laughs> and while you're at it. Save me, yeah, save me Robert the Bruce. Uh, he said $4.99. Thank you so much. He said, would love Ultraverse characters show up on the poll. David could do an awesome Nightman. Kelsey doing Brayfogle's Prime and you doing Sludge. I really enjoyed uh, Ultraverse. I, that might be fun. Did we try putting Ultraverse on one of the um yeah it didn't get we, just, we did like didn't we end up doing harvey comics that one time because i remember doing the fighting american with the that fat guy yeah i think we tried um, doing ultraverse we we need to try again um i liked uh what was hard case wasn't that uh yeah. ultraverse as well yeah. Yeah. yeah um i like those uh we should do ultraverse atari force and no! uh, they'll vote and what else <laughs> if you put atari force on there they will vote for it they will vote for it yeah i want to see another uh David uh, mantra. Oh, another one. The one Wait he did. did they, with, David, did you do a mantra cover? He, he sure did. Is he gone again? Is he eating lunch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a second. I'll find the. I yeah, eat well, this got, mantra you story. Got a, you got like an hour or more. Okay, let me. So uh, I'll take that long, but you know. God, what am yeah. I going to do for the rest of the hour? Let's see if I can find it. I'm almost done. Is it? Oh, for crying out loud. Are you going to color it? Yeah. Uh, I love it how David doesn't necessarily feel he needs to be here all the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like 20 grandkids now. Yeah, I know. So. I know it's, tough. it's tough sledding. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a modern take. This is if EC can make comics uh, today, what would it involve? So that's what I'm going to. Well, uh, I, of course, am going vintage because that's what the people really want to see. <laughs> what people are you referring to? I'm referring to the old it. ones. I'm, I'm talking to all the, uh, the old people. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful how you use that term. Uh, the people. The people. This is the people's choice, and I'm giving them what they want. Kelsey, on the other hand, my people want manga. Where my manga people at? <laughs> the problem is, there's these like five of them in the audience. So. <laughs> I'm proud of those five. <laughs> Good to see it. <laughs> my five favorite. Okay. All right, so I'm I'm doing the inking portion. You know what? Why am I inking with this pen? I should just go on with that brush pen and get kind of crazy, right? Get crazy. Don't even finish drawing it. Just go. Graham Ingalls would not have used a pen. He would have gone in with a brush. That's true. Ingalls was, yeah, he was uh he was a craftsman. So since we're talking about this, let's let's talk some EC because I am not other than the movies, uh like you know, was it um what are the what were those movies? Was it Tales from the Crypt or no? Well, uh, well there was there was Creep Show, which was sort of based, Creep Show it was based yeah. on that sort of concept. Uh, the Tales from the Crypt was actually the television show on HBO. Okay, I did watch some of that. Okay, so um, you're a horror fan, though, right? Uh, A movie. I like I like horror, but I, I'm a sci-fi kid. Like I, I grew up. I was oh, always into sci-fi, and everybody's like, "Do you see that horror movie?" I'm like, uh, "Yeah." You know, like, I, <laughs> well, no, I, how do I not? I, I, what? EC had sci-fi and stuff too. Oof. Yeah, but I mean, I was, you know, uh, under fifty. Uh, well, so. dude, I wasn't alive back then either. I discovered <laughs> them later. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. I, that's what kind of what I was getting at, though, is that, um, like now. Um, there's all these collections and stuff like that. And, and I, I've recently become obsessed with, uh, uh, you know, uh, what's his name over at Mad Magazine, um, Kurtzman, Kurtzman. And uh, yeah. like, uh, and I love, I already love most of the artists involved in like EC, but where do I start? Do I, if I wanted to like read some stories, is there a collection that, would be good or should i just start from the beginning or did they get good at a certain point well, they know? did get went okay i'll tell you this when um when you look on the cover of like um 
you know how they always had the um, the three little bubbles circles on the side, and they'd say featuring the Crypt Keeper and the Vault oh, okay. Keeper. Mm-hmm. And the, yeah. when when the old witch when they use Ingalls drawing for the old witch, Jack Davis's Crypt Keeper and um, Al Feldstein's um, uh, Vault Keeper. I think it was mm. Feldstein. When they use those, not Feldstein. Vault, Vault um, Johnny <laughs> Craig. Johnny Craig. So Johnny Craig did the green, the witch with the green hood. Yeah, uh, Johnny Craig. Jack Davis did the Crypt Keeper with a blue hood. And then Ingalls did the old witch. When they use those icons on the side of the books, those are all great. Prior to that, it was all mm. Feldstein and it was, you know, they weren't as great. But um, so <clears throat> there are collections out there, Kelsey. There's a ton. I know, here, but it's while you're, while you're not daunting. drawing, I, I found that uh, the the mantra piece that David did. Okay, I'm hoping chat is like dumping suggestions in there. I always go back and look. So, wait a minute, is that the that's a cover? What issue was that from? No, that was a splash page. I was going to say that's not a cover. Even... Why are you bringing this up? Because we were talking about old booty. Yeah, cat- when you were cat- when you were, when you were eating lunch, we were uh, talking, you know, doing stuff on the show. <clears throat> we were trying to embarrass you then. I figured now it'd be a better yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's a great piece. That, and, that, uh, what, that, that uh, was ahead of its time. Mike <laughs> Barr was the writer, and then he criticized you for he, he said you made mantra too thick. Yeah. Well, Mike was probably emotionally attached to the character, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, no upset about that. I've never heard anybody complaining about that. Uh, <laughs> you drew her too thick. What are you? Are you crazy? Well, that's what we said back to him. He's like, "Are you, are you insane?" Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't want to ask a comic book guy that because you you may not like the answer. Man, when I did that whole impromptu uh, drawing thing on Chuck Jones's time at Warner Brothers Mm. on the board, when he was actually um, talking to us about how he thinks about drawing and thinks about drawing men and women and all that kind of stuff, and he said, when you th- when you think about drawing a woman, the first thing you should think of is drawing a hippo. Oh, <laughs> oh whoa. Everybody kind of fell out, and you could see the temperature of all the women were just like, what? Uh, most <laughs> of them laughed down. right at that <laughs> moment. <yeah>. Uh, a <laughs> hippo. <laughs> oh, Chuck Jones. Oh, <laughs> that was great. The guy in the room is suggesting... Uh, do characters from the show Invincible next or anything less than 100 years old so I will have heard of it? <laughs> I've never seen that show, but I've read the comics. We're um, trying to educate you guys. That's what we're yeah. Give you something besides manga to think about. I mean, I'm happy for Kirkman to have gotten that show off the ground and stuff, but I didn't like the show. I like the comic. What little bit I I got? He still owes me comics. For, oh, for the for the uh, cover that I did for him. I just got mine from Ryan. He, <laughs> he he sent me like this whole uh, giant collection. I've got uh like uh, those big you know omnibus hard covers. He all he actually spoiled Walking Dead for me as well because he's <laughs> he did a. Uh, uh, a cover for like a special event and um i was watching the show and i was i was really into it because it was like kind of the heyday when it was first starting and so i intentionally didn't read any any more of the comics i just wanted to enjoy the show and then ryan sent me like this whole package full of stuff and i saw his his uh, walking dead cover and i was like oh sweet so i started flipping through it and i i see a major spoiler uh <laughs> And I had to keep that to myself because I was watching the show with people. And so I had to sit there quietly <laughs> and speculate on who was going to die and who wasn't, knowing full well who was yeah. going to die. 
Um, oh, uh, so it was fairly accurate to the comic there for a while. Is that what? Yeah. Mean? Well, it, but yeah. Well, sorta. And but there was a point where they they created a whole new character, and I was like getting excited because I'm like, oh, okay, they're gonna spare the guy that we've come to really like because we like the actor and everything and it was good and uh um so it got to that point and they killed both of them i was like what wow what <laughs> you killed the, the new guy who i kind of liked but i knew you were setting him up for a fall and you killed the other guy i was like i was so furious that i actually wrote kirkman and i was like i don't know if i can watch this show anymore <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for me. yeah. <laughs> uh, Squibs for dollar ninety nine. Thank you, Squibs. Says, speaking of horror, does any of you read The Goon? I've read some of it. The Goon? Not regularly. Yeah, Eric. Um, oh, Eric when it Gunn. first came out, I, I I read some of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read a couple uh, bits. I, I never could get into it, but I always loved Powell's work. Yeah, um, Eric Powell's work is really really great. And you missed one. Whoa. In fact, he uh, I saw an oil painting he did that just blew me away. And I remember contacting him going, dude, that's all I said. But <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know who it was from. <laughs> yeah. He's like, thanks. Um, it was like drive-by compliment. <laughs> yeah. Dude. <laughs> uh, Vic's coming back for round two. He says, does anyone know who Die Hard and Vanguard were? Yeah. Uh, yeah. From uh, Liefeld's book. Oh, Okay. Uh, thanks for participating again, Vic. This isn't the Rob Liefeld show, but um, <laughs> thank you for the dollar ninety nine. Anyway, keep trying. Keep trying, you'll get it right. I, David, I, didn't I, you tra do trading cards with those guys? Yep. Uh, the Vespa guy for five dollars. The more I see streams with Gary, the more I stand by my statement that he is secretly Loki. He is chaotic and a proven trickster. Hail the Greybeards. He's got you figured out, Gary. He no, he's me of being Loki on uh, Ethan's show. He's low key. That's that's right. Don't get confused. He's <laughs> he's very low key individual. <laughs> Speaking oh, of criticism, <laughs> do we have to? I was at the at, at the grocery store the other day. Oh my gosh! Okay. Just, <laughs> that, that was it. I just, yeah, I just just do that setup so I could hear Aaron moan. <laughs> Grocery stores. Oh. What the heck? Don't get me started uh, on grocery stores. I'm at the deli, and <laughs> yeah, I'm at the deli, and I had a, a, a hankering for a corn dog. Uh, and I'll tell my corn dog story oh, later. But <laughs> I'll tell you why I was hankering for a corn dog. Yeah. Later. Anyway, so I'm at the deli, and I'm looking at these corn dogs, and they were there was three of them in there, sitting in their little you know pan. And they were all they delicious. were black. Oh, I don't, and I don't mean they were African American corn dogs. <laughs> they Damn. were black, and so <laughs> like uh, like burnt, or they were just like completely burnt. black they were all burnt. the way around. Oh. They were burnt. Okay, were they black and, or black end? No, they were oh. black. <laughs> I'll have the blackened corn dog, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there was yeah. three of them, so that was the only choice. So. I asked one of the workers, um, is, is going to be cooking some up some more corn dogs? And, and she just kind of looked at me with this blank look. And I said, have you seen these? Would you would you eat one of these? <laughs> I can see Gary doing this. And she threw her hands up and walked away. Wow. <laughs> So, of course, I'm standing there befuddled. I'm wondering, it's just like, is she getting tired of getting criticized by these corn dogs? Did she cook them, <laughs> did she cook them herself and, and she didn't want any criticism? And then as I'm standing there, like, trying to figure this out, someone else walked up and asked to help me. And, and I said the same thing to her. And she said, oh, no, absolutely not. That's why we're... We have a new batch, you know, going right now. And I said, okay, why didn't I get an answer from the other one when I asked the same question? And she she was walking by when she heard me, and she started yelling at me. Whoa. And the manager came and over. Carrie's like, it's on now. And I'm Let's still standing this. there trying to figure out what's going on. The manager came over because he heard the yelling, 
and and he told me that this worker is not hot tempered and so when he saw her yelling he thought i had said something really <laughs> nasty to her so apparently she'd been you know he got the story that she had been criticized about these corn dogs she did not cook them oh. but she was getting tired of being criticized for it and so i was like well why are they out there then <laughs> Why are you trying to sell these to the public? I mean, please, and, and he was like, you know what? I don't know. I really, I don't know. And he says, let me, let me get to the bottom of this. And I said, wait a minute. I'm just here for some groceries. I don't need to spend all this time, you know. Doing solving. an investigation. Yeah. The corn dog <laughs> dilemma. I just, I'm, it's curious that they would put something out like that and expect people to buy them. But. I didn't expect it to turn into this, you know, giant controversy. I like you know, how he's trying to blame you. You're, you're like when I said blackened, I was talking about the corn dog. <laughs> yeah. No so, reason she should be mad. Later on, as I'm checking out, um, the the manager's office to the store is is on the other side of the uh, the checkout lanes. So there's, you know, the door with the sign on it that says manager. And I'm standing in line, get my groceries checked. And, and she comes out, this woman comes out of the manager's office, and she was in tears. Good. So I, I felt good and bad at the same time. <laughs> well, okay. First of all, it's like, how can you be so freaking fragile that you can't, someone's going asking you why the corn dogs are burnt if you didn't even do it? You know, exactly. I never really got an answer to it why she was so sensitive <laughs> about the freaking corn dogs. Her boyfriend just gave her a bunch of crap for her corn dogs that she made last <laughs> night. She was carrying that with her. There you go. You just I hit know. her at the wrong moment. I'll, I'll bet you a hundred dollars she did an Instagram video right after she got off work crying in her car about <laughs> um, I didn't even make the damn corn dogs. Yeah, that was the last corn dog straw. Pay my rent. This guy in there from Greenbirds yelling at me. <laughs> this cis white male said something about that corn dogs. He looked like a damn corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had a lot to talk. <laughs> so, to back up a little bit. Uh oh, there's more. The reason why I was in the mood for a corn dog. <laughs> When I walked into the store, this this um, old couple was in front of me, and they were like, you know, four feet tall, walking very slow, you know, blocking the aisle, that kind of thing. So I was right behind them, and I could hear what they were saying. And the I assume it was the it was his wife. Uh, Can you think of anything else we need? And the and the husband replies, uh, Yeah. We're low on corn dogs. <laughs> Seriously. And I just like, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Low. <laughs> <laughs> we only got two left, honey. Low. So he, he had to have corn dogs on hand 24-7. <laughs> Milk, <laughs> eggs, butter, you corn know, dogs. staples, corn dogs. <laughs> that is a staple, Gary. Come on. We are. We're low on corn dogs. <laughs> low on gas. Uh, and I was expecting, you know, the wife to say, you know, you. Blank I thought you were going to say. If it... I told you those things will kill you. No, she just. Okay. I thought you were going to say, is there anything you want? A new life. That's a... <laughs> and a corn dog. Well, she like, didn't. Ah. Yeah, she didn't. You know, she just agreed. And they, and, and so I realized, you know, this is an older couple. This woman clearly picks her battles. Yeah. <laughs> but she was not going to, you know, die on that hill, that corn dog hill. Uh, you were apparently <laughs> yeah yeah I, yeah, I was, yeah. So, and, and so i just i realized that this couple as has without really 
well, maybe they knew that they had hit on the the secret of a long relationship. <laughs> Don't fight over the corn dogs. Corn dogs, yeah, corn dogs. <laughs> she was weighing that battle in her head. She was like, "It's just corn dogs. Just get the damn corn dogs." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's not we'll, my heart. It's we'll his. give up hell about taking out the garbage later. Yeah. Well, how, how do you know she wasn't an equal participant in this corn dog fiesta? Well, I don't, it's maybe, true. maybe. Yeah, she was yeah. like, "Oh, you're right." Oh my god. Maybe gosh, that's why can't... you know, like E Harmony, that they got together because they both love corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Mutual love for corn dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I can understand that to a degree because I, I always, I got some in the freeze freezer right now. I always, I always keep some corn dogs on hand. Just well, you never know. You never know when the family's going to come over and you got to feed them something. I don't want to get low on corn dogs either. So I, yeah. <laughs> I just like how Gary that clicked in his head. Low on corn dogs. <laughs> Never thought about that. <laughs> like a Jerry Seinfeld moment. <laughs> uh, you know, I bet they have great corn dogs here at this store. <laughs> Wrong. Triggers an employee. Yeah, that's true. That maybe that's, yeah, to set me up to. Get my mouth ready for corn dogs, and then I go over there, and I'm disappointed. <laughs> you should have right. told them, "Hey, I know where you can get some great corn yeah. dogs." <laughs> well, see, that was yeah. I didn't know the corn dog situation when I. <laughs> <laughs> if only I'd known the corn dog situation, it'd been entirely different. Yeah. Uh, this is a Graybeard's clip happening right here. Is a corn dog situation. <laughs> <laughs> the great corn dog situation. Yeah. All right, Aaron. <laughs> Woo. Uh, John for $2 says, Gary's story gave me dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my world, buddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no man, a man says, Gary eats. Hold on a second. It's scrolled up. Uh, Gary eats his corn dogs with his pinky in the air. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Henry okay, Beamer Gary. says the corn dog situation sounds like an early 90s jam band. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's like playing tonight, fish, followed by the great corn dog situation. <laughs> I think uh, I think Gary. I think what you really need to do is tell the story of your uh, grandson in the restaurant, because that oh, I'm sure they heard it. No, they haven't. Uh, I'm sure, I know this one. <laughs> no, it, it is, it on. it's so great I'm because kidding. it's a it's another Gary prank gone horribly wrong. <laughs> it seems so, to be a few of these. <laughs> let's, let's hear it, Gary. Just okay, I'll, I'll try to do a shorter version. So I um, was out to lunch with my daughter and, and her kids, and uh, she has a, a boy and a girl, and, and the, the boy, Tucker, is he's like around 12 years old. And he didn't, we were at a sandwich place, and he didn't know what he wanted. And so I asked the, the young lady, do you recommend anything? What do you like? And she said, yeah, and she talked about some turkey sandwich, and, and, and I could tell he was, you know, listening that he was kind of interested. And I said, I'll tell you what, what if and we ask her, if you don't like the sandwich, if you get it and don't like it, you can get your money back. And, and I looked at her and she smiled. So she realized I was joking. And, you know, so he, anyway, he, he ordered the sandwich halfway through it. He was like, mm, can I trade my sandwich for somebody else's and we're like no you know that's the one you ordered <laughs> welcome to life kid yeah, exactly. you lose. <laughs> and so he ended up eating it and, and i could tell he you know he wasn't crazy about it but he ate it and i said i'll tell you what you go over there you know when we're done you go over there and ask her say hey i didn't like my sandwich i ate it but i didn't like it can i have my money back <laughs> <laughs> and he was he was like yeah i'll do it you know yeah i'll do it and so we're all eating and then 
were getting ready to go and then he was he was getting skittish i could tell you know he was starting to back out he didn't want to do it and it's like you know all right you know so we're heading out the door and before he goes out he yells the food in this place sucks <laughs> And we're oh, all damn. like, fuck her. That's not what I said. That's not what I told you. He's like, yes, it is. That's what you told me to say. And he was almost like crying because he thought we were mad because he did what I told him to say. And I realized like in his mind, that's what he heard me say. Thought, ask her for your money back but this food sucks that's how he interpreted <laughs> how do you get that though how do you get i don't that? know i don't know but that old was he around 12. wow so i'm concerned for the youths <laughs> yeah you should be oh my goodness i mean he was like unflinching that he was he was positive that's what i told him to say See what you have wrought, Gary. I'm I know. You, Gary's trouble, man. I've been telling you guys that for years. No one listens. You know. Gary gave hit the kid dementia too. Apparently, yes. <laughs> 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 oh, on, Gary. turned into you know horrifying the staff and the and the other diners. Oh my goodness. What if they started going, you know what? That kid is right. Yeah, yeah, right. right. <laughs> you know, what are money back. <laughs> I, I, are, are you the types to return food to the kitchen? Oh, no, because then they'll spit no, on it. Exactly. I never no, I will that. ask. Um, I, I will complain, but I won't. I'll do it in a nice manner, despite what Aaron says. <laughs> I won't believe that for a second. <laughs> Aaron, yeah, Gary goes, uh, so you think this was a good meal you made? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your feelings on this Do you, you stand, you stand behind this sandwich? You stand behind this? Um, <laughs> I see. We went to a, back in the Studio Saurus days, we went to a Chinese restaurant. I keep telling this story. Gary just can't understand why I think it's so funny, but you guys tell me. Uh, we go in this Chinese restaurant, and he orders this dish. And he goes, it was low main. Yeah, low main. He goes, but light on the vegetables. And I just started cracking up. I can't remember exactly how you phrased it. Did you, did you say, but I don't like um, take out some of the vegetables or whatever. And I'm like, Gary, that's 90% of what they're feeding you is the chopped up vegetables. What do you mean? Take out some of the vegetables. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted it to be heavy on the noodles. I didn't want right but like they're gonna do that and of course they, they came back and it just was mounds of vegetables everywhere and gary's all <laughs> pissed off and it's just like i don't know. remember a lot of vegetables in lo mein I, I get like pork lo mein and you get like some onions or whatever or whatever's in there i don't know but it's it seems like it's just pork and noodles well you know so, they were you know they're back in the kitchen laughing their head off just pouring more vegetables yeah, give it. <laughs> we'll teach give you that, yeah. Give that guy more vegetables. He looks yeah. like he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and uh, my wife went to this local restaurant out here, and it was they served breakfast all day, all night, and all this kind of stuff. And we were just hungry for some breakfast, and <clears throat> the kid, the the server, was like one of these kids who wear their pants real low and was sagging and stuff like that. Uh -oh. And so that kind of pisses me off. If you're a server, you don't be sagging your pants. And I said, and he goes, he serves the food and goes, is everything all right? I said, yeah, but could you get your manager? And the manager comes by and I said, uh, <clears throat> can you do me a favor? Do you have a pencil and a paper, pen and a paper? And she says, yes. And I said, um, can you write the word sagging backwards? <sighs> and she wrote it backwards. And she was like, ooh. And I said, do you see these employees with their pants is sagging? I said, do you have any of these people where the word is written backwards, what that means? Do you have them working for you? Do you want me to say the word backwards? Sag 
Sagan? Yeah, write it out. I just did. Don't okay. I don't want to get the. Uh... Yeah, okay. So I said, Oh, no. <laughs> yes. I said, You don't have any working for you. So you tell them to pull up their pants and quit acting like them. Damn. And immediately, <laughs> none of those servers came back out and stuff like that. And we had a nice had a nice dinner from that point on. I can't oh, stand oh. seeing that. Note to self, pull my <laughs> pants up around David. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some Here of us just David, hike up the, the britches. Yeah, yeah, some of us just, you know, we got no no ass. We have, they just sag. I don't know. <laughs> Get a belt. <laughs> no purpose. I don't have a belt. I never I never belt. Dude, just go in your backyard and kill an alligator and make a belt. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you can customize a belt like nobody. I don't like I don't like wearing things. I don't like jewelry. I don't like wearing things. I don't like wearing things. All that fancy book learning. I don't like, wearing, 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 <laughs> like shoes and socks and all those. Uh, Old dirty fatty says Williams was the first person here to say these people. <laughs> <laughs> he was referring to waiters. Uh, <laughs> um, I think uh, I think we're behind here on um, time. Oh. No. Uh, on what? Victor, Vic, Vic keeps trying, and I, I give him credit. For a buck ninety nine, thanks, Vic. He says, "How about corn with mayo, parmesan, and chili powder?" Um, I don't doubt it. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Absolutely, Vic. I am begging for you to put a connected thought together for me. Okay, like <laughs> Aaron can't take spicy food. I just, Aaron. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Leg kick. Leg kick's here because leg kick is almost always here. He says, for $2. <laughs> thank you, leg kick. Hello, all. Be the best now is Gary Martin. Laugh out loud. Um, well, you say so. <laughs> yeah, leg kick, you don't. You're just realizing that now? <laughs> Okay, here we go. I have to change uh, horns here. Uh -huh. <laughs> <clears throat> Evil one for five dollars says Kelsey is ripping off tales from the Crypt Keeper cartoon episode Game Over. What that kid game comes to life and they attack the kids that are gamers? Kelsey the ripoff plagiarist. Wait, wait a minute, it's it was on the one. TV show. That's like totally. a public service announcement right there. That's very helpful. Thank you. I like the total gamers. Mm -hmm. Was that that was on the TV show? The I don't Tales know. From, what do you say from uh, Tales say. from the Crypt? Yeah, that's what he's saying. <clears throat> I didn't know they had VR back then. Well, I guess I guess they did, and that's when they were promising us VR, and we had to wait thirty more years for it. Well, that's uh, why it was like a fantasy show, right? It's like it was in the future. Like, oh. Well, damn, man. There's just no good ideas anymore, man. I I, <laughs> I never saw that episode. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, you were being an original. I have seen uh, Lawnmower Man. Is that related? What does that got to do with anything? Uh, it's just a VR thing, I guess. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Wait, wasn't that... Uh, who was the actor in that... Um... Uh, two of them. You had, you had the Billy, not Billy Zane. It was um. Yeah, he's that wild-eyed guy. Uh, yeah, the wild-eyed guy from Desperado mm -hmm. or uh, a Silverado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vito? Huh? Who? What did you say, Gary? Never mind. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. <laughs> but uh, Pierce Brosnan was the main guy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, um, Jeff Fahey. Fahey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I always liked him. So he was really? like, like really like a dimwit, right? And then they made him smart or something. It was flowers for Mount for Algernon, right. right? Yeah, basically. Uh, uh. <laughs> Which of course was turned into the Academy Award-winning uh, movie Charlie. 
All right, Vic's getting serious now. Four ninety nine. Thank you very much for that, Vic. What did he say to Aaron when he noticed Gary wearing his hat sideways? Do you what? pay to give us the punchline, Victor? Four ninety nine. What did he say to Aaron when he noticed Gary wearing his hat sideways? Who he are you referring to? Okay, Dave, this, um, this is okay, Vic. Look at man, I love. I think he's saying David. No, this he, is this has got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna, you've got to give us enough infra information to it actually to understand what you're it talking about. It doesn't matter what he's saying <laughs> when he super chats. I think that's the point he's making. No, if he's we, giving no, you money and you're reading it anyway. It doesn't matter. It does. We understand. Because, because we have a certain standard on the show. Oh, is that right? <laughs> when did that, that happen? Standard kicking in today. <laughs> <laughs> A certain standard. I want that. I want the standards in writing. Yeah. You're gonna get them. Yeah, you're gonna get them next week. I'm gonna. I'm gonna publish the standards. Okay. Sheesh. Here we go. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, yep. these guys, David. Obviously, this is. Oh my gosh! I got nothing left to blow you up with, Vic. What is he even talking? About? Okay, I gotta go back and maybe if I read them together, it'll all make well, sense. David. Yeah. <laughs> Something about David not liking me turning my hat sideways. Okay, so we're going to start with Vic's very first super chat. We're going to go through them and see if there's a connective thread here. Um, okay, let me spy the first one. So Vic, you're getting double for your money. And he says, manga are like highly rendered comic strips. Okay, that was overstating the obvious. Uh, does anyone know who Die Hard and Vanguard were? I, that was actually a legit question that I guess David and Kelsey knew the answer to. So I'm From young blood. Up that. And then he says, how about corn with mayo, parmesan, and chili powder? Maybe he meant how about corn dogs with mayo, parmesan, and chili powder? Okay. Mm. okay. Sounds that good, makes, actually. That makes sense. And then he says, what did he say to Aaron when he noticed Gary wearing his hat sideways? These guys, David, obviously. <laughs> okay, we, Vic, we just put it all together with a big book, and um, we're just we're swimming in it right now. Just do not know what's going on. Well, he was talking about telling the waiters to pull their pants up. So he's like, "Well, what did you say to to Gary when he had his hat sideways?" Uh, well, oh, so you're the Vic translator. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to follow, but do I think I that's have what to, it was. Uh really articulate what sagging pants are in the culture <clears throat> what are they in the culture it's uh uh punks in prison mainly black punks in prison who used to sag their pants letting other prison inmates oh know my. that no, they are that available available <clears throat> oh yeah. Wow, way to bring the show down. I definitely uh, keep my pants up by my chest. <laughs> I know. That's right. Pull I'm going to go that nipples. old man route, right, where it's like uh, the pants are just up around my neck. <clears throat> That's why our grandparents had their pants up around their nipples and stuff yeah. like that. It isn't you ain't getting this. I'm all man up in this piece. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are just fat. <laughs> <laughs> There's not... Kelsey's not advertising anything. He's just that's just who he is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know if uh I don't know if my pan, pants are sagging. I need where I can't, I can't find my colors. What the hell happened to my colors? Oh no. <laughs> whole thing is going to fall over and it's going to catch on fire. This is going to be the greatest episode ever. Listen to this. He's turning his studio upside down. He literally is turning his studio right. upside down. I got it. I wanted to do this with inks because this is uh, colored inks because I think the, the old EC stuff was like... Oh, yeah. It'll be brighter. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. If only we had Marie Seven here to color all these things. Yeah. Hold yeah. On. She was awesome. Um, red. 
my classic red, but I don't know what I'm going to do red here. <laughs> I think David needs to fill up his markers. Background. Yeah, but then you'd have to cover up that sweet cross hatching. Yeah, but it should show through. Let's try it. Um, need a brush. How much time we got left? Holy smokes. What, uh, 40 minutes? Yeah, 39 if you want to be exact. I'm not saying you have to be. I'm just saying if you wanted to be. We got time for a sandwich? Well, I'm not pushing it, man. I got too many characters involved in the. I already ate a burrito. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> you did that after the show started. Yeah, we were. We Yeah, we remember when you disappeared twice. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that? Apparently David can. Can I leave and get some get a snack? Um, it depends if you want to be let back in or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't turn off the camera. I'll just leave. Well, hold on a second, uh, Aaron. Who will, uh, who, I was going to say, who will blow the horn if you're not here? <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Vix, uh, four ninety nine. Thank you, Victor. It says, so you asked Aaron with two N's if there were any gays on the channel. Aaron said no. And Dave pointed at Gary wearing his hat sideways and Aaron straightened it out. I don't know. Wait a minute. Is that, that's, supposed to, that's, that's supposed to lift the confusion? Yeah. Are there any gays on the channel? I don't G think I've ever worn my hat sideways in my life. G-A-Z-E is, is there any? On the channel, Aaron said no. And I think, I think Victor's writing his own story. Yeah, right? <laughs> and I'm kind of on the edge of my seat. I want to see how it turns out. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so you, you, we'll find out how it ends. And Aaron, you know. And, and look, there's, look at Vic. He's got a, he's sending me a crying emoji now. Yeah, so so I just, not, we're not getting it. No, something's not working. But keep, I, Vic, I get the, how you spelled gays. I get it. Okay. You don't have to spell it for me in the chat. I mean, <laughs> I get it, but it still doesn't mean your story makes any sense. That's my not problem. gays, gays. Yeah, no, see, now the chat's asking me to turn my hat sideways. I, I'm sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> this is all part of Vic's plan. You see, none of this uh, super chat money goes to me, so I have nothing, nothing to gain by doing it. <laughs> no, that's not true. If we hit a certain mark, I'm, I'm. Uh, oh, yeah, but you, you're, you're purposefully vague on what that mark uh -huh. is. It's like Marvel royalties. That's uh <laughs> that's right. <laughs> incentive. incentive. Yeah, incentive. Yeah. Uh, yeah, would you guys get your little incentive check see, for me? You're you sing a different tune. Chad, give me a break. You don't want to see me turn my head sideways, trust me. <laughs> oh, so I uh, reached out to uh, John Beatty. Oh yeah. And he did not respond. And oh. <laughs> I, I reached out to Ron Garney on Instagram and, and, and he showed that uh, he saw the message and he did not respond. <laughs> <laughs> they all they all talked to Randy uh, earlier that day. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah the guest list is shaping up real nice. <laughs> oh, uh, somebody suggested. Uh, um oh, who yeah that guy's awesome yeah <laughs> well i want to get john on here i don't know why he's not is he scared of me he's my okay. he's actually my old my father uh i don't know if anybody knew that i don't think he's that old damn <laughs> <laughs> no he he uh he shows up in my chat on my sunday show quite frequently so i don't i just don't think he's seen the message actually now, Ron, I know, has seen the message because <laughs> it shows that he saw it. <clears throat> oh, Ron would. Uh, yeah, that's, I, fine well, if, that's fine if he doesn't want to come on the show. I, I might actually not show up on the show if Ron shows up. Well, I, like it I said, would destroy I, us. I don't know if he'd want to actually come on and draw. That's a problem. I think a lot of guys just don't want to come on and draw. Oh. They're like, it's like working yeah. at a pizza joint. I, yeah, exactly. I see drawings yeah, all day. I don't know. There's more of us types than you think. <laughs> so I noticed, Kelsey, that you colored the top of his shoulders the same color as the background, and then you dabbed it, and it turned kind of a glowing 
pink as yeah shade. well it was supposed to be uh it was supposed to be a, a like a purple you know you uh, i was thinking of those michael golden uh colors where yeah yeah i know have red and then on the people it'll be like a like a purple or a pink or something like that yeah and uh when i put down that color it just looked exactly the same as the background oh, okay so, uh, so I dabbed it and then I was like, oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'm drawing the Hulk behind him. I didn't realize that was. <laughs> He's like, that's what it looks the like. Your slash venom. <laughs> but David's already yeah. getting some, some love here. Says, uh, He's a monster asking Bro Hawk, how much, sir? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to put that up for, for auction today? Sure. Mm -hmm. Why not? There you go. Oh, man. I don't even want to look. Whatever. <laughs> well, no, I don't spend even. a little time looking at your own drawing. Uh, <laughs> this point. You need to, uh... Angela Curry, Gary, it's Shelby Robertson. I don't know who that is. Oh, Shelby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew. Yeah, I, I was thinking of that. Uh, Shelby also would be excellent on here. Um, he's... Uh, from the image days like i think he's um or he was on uh he was working with Weifeld actually um he's one i want to pick it i want to hear more about that time but i've never seemed to be in the same room as <laughs> well, actually we, it'd be great you know who we owe uh you, you um what's his name david Yudofia skywalker or what what's that the the guy the guy that um does the 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 um the murals? Murals, thank you. Yeah, you said his name, right? Who? who You want to get a mural person on here? Yeah, he's awesome. Is that going to be our challenge to do murals? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Versus, location today. It's, it's, yeah. his, it's his challenge to draw small. Does he do comic book uh, murals? We'll show you his stuff after the show. Oh, okay. You know, I was just thinking... You know, at least Shelby's drawn a comic book. Okay, shouldn't, <laughs> shouldn't his the highlight on the Hulk arms be on the upper part of his arms be that purple instead of green? Uh, what? Oh, Criticize. on the top of the forearm should be on green the top too. of the forearm shouldn't it, shouldn't it be purple? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, that is. That's what happens when David finishes early. <laughs> he starts the smack talk. Well, you know, he already he actually he finished early and had lunch, so he's just like destroying us at this point. Uh, if only I drew Batman. Well, right. you know, David doesn't draw things that are complicated because he doesn't want to challenge himself on the show, so <laughs> keeps it simple. I, I challenge Evil myself one is on, claiming on the I missed a super chat, Aaron. Huh? Uh -oh. He's claiming he once says I missed a super chat. I, which I do from time to time. I don't believe it. Um, oh, you did. Evil one for two dollars says go get a corn dog, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, evil one. I, yeah, sorry I missed that one. <laughs> Take a break. Get yourself a corn dog. You didn't do the whistle. You, you there you go. <laughs> Uh, Queen Mickey says two dollars confirmed for Kelsey's lack of using purple in the right place. <laughs> Where did I know? Oh yeah, well, on the top uh, of the forearm. Nah, yeah, well, that's the light transition here. I uh -huh. guess. <laughs> that's where it gets darkest right before it gets the brighter. Dawn. Yeah, before the dawn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look, I can make up any excuse to justify this. Don't try me. <laughs> he, he is well prepared. I'm. I was trained by the great Aaron Lepresti in excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we've got about a half an hour. Yeah, I'm feeling, feeling like might be in a bit of. Actually, a little less than that because we need time to. To show off the, the pieces if we want to start the auction at 430. Oh my gosh. I, no, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so less than that, Aaron. Yeah. Um, did you just start over? Is that what I heard? Nope. Yeah. 
Oh. I heard paper rustling. I was getting excited. Somebody's starting over. Oh my gosh, I'm doing I'm, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doing a, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a Kelsey Muppet face. That's how <laughs> desperate I am. Hey. Uh, Griever Enterprises, get Chris Stevens on. Um, Chris is technologically challenged to the point. I got him up for an interview on my uh, my Sunday show, but I don't know that he has figured out how to like set his camera up so he can like draw. I'll talk to him though. Which who? Which uh, one's Chris? Chris, huh? Oh, which one's Chris? Who, Chris, Chris Stevens? Stevens did my my other Kit Carter cover. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One. Oh yeah. Says he goes get Chris Stevens on so I can understand what he's doing with the, the like watercolor underpainting than Copic marker. Yeah, we'd all like it's witchcraft, man. We all want to know. Um, he explained it on my show, and I was sitting there going, "I'm sorry, what?" Uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a really weird technique, but man, what the re can't argue with the results. What the the marker? Uh, well, he does every like he. Some oh yeah. Does a value underpainting in white, and I'm like, what? And then uh, paints over the top of it, or crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, Kelsey. The like show has never seen. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I'm uh, I am flailing around here. I don't know what the hell. Give me some full screen action. Oh, David is going to show off his print collection once again while we're uh... struggling. Yes. Go ahead, David. All right. Selling prints. Uh, they're they're thirty dollars each or um, four for a hundred. Um, they're what what size is this? Is it thirteen by nineteen? Uh, thirteen thirteen by nineteen. Yeah. <clears throat> Very few left. If you're interested, <clears throat> me and Kelsey, Betty Page covers. Me and Kelsey, Red That's Sonia, great. and uh, Suicide Squad. That was great. That was fun. I like that one. Wolvie and the X Men. X Men's, you got to say it with it with the S at the end of it. X Men's, yeah, because that's how they are now. That Wolverine one is what I look like when the waiter brings me uh, low main with <laughs> no vegetables. <laughs> um, I have the original pencils for this. I might sell on the show today. So, well, the, the Judge, Judge, Dredd thing? Judge Dredd, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. I, wasn't this our first one, Kelsey? This uh, Joker, or yes. was this the Spider Man? Oh no! I well, I don't know. That might have been the I, the Joker. It might have been the Joker one. Yeah, I think it was the Joker. It, yeah, this one came after. I did the Joker one. I was like, oh man, coloring David's easy, and I regretted <laughs> that ever since. Not <laughs> you're like, oh man, now let me challenge this fool. <laughs> Here's 25. Here's every G.I. Joe character ever. <laughs> yeah, Me fun. and Kelsey again on Red Sun. Yeah, those were fun. We did a nice run uh, for, was it IDW? Yeah, IDW. Yeah. They were doing the, the Cobra series. And then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, all these that suck, those aren't me. Uh, yeah. You know, <laughs> don't even bother with those. <laughs> Look at Robbins. Yeah, what's Robin up to? Look, that's an EC cover with a... Uh, right? He, Where he's he's smiling because he, he knows Batman is up there. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. See, I'm I just stuck on on Mr. Freeze the underlighting on his face. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Well, this is kind of like a, um, a Chris because I use paint and marker on this to um, to do this piece. The like, the like, uh, Mr. Freeze. Yeah. So there's a little bit of paint and marker in all of this. 
It's a good technique. I mean, I, messing with markers uh, have been a lot of fun, man. Uh, honestly, once you get used to them, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah this is great, actually. <laughs> I mean, it could do some of the blending that you readily can't do or don't want to do in with paint, and then the paint could do the the, the uncontrolled aspects that <laughs> you're looking for. Well, I, I, I love the – you can get a fairly flat – color with marker mm -hmm. when you do it fast if it's a i guess not every not all of them but i don't know i've been what's very surprised the, what's the print deal david what do you mean oh print it's price. uh uh they're 30 dollars each but if you get four it's a hundred so you get a deal if you get four you all come signed yep also by the artist yeah. Me. <laughs> Color artist. <laughs> the guy who really made it work. Well, yeah. We I, know who the backbone of comics is. I'm the colored artist. <laughs> the, the color artist and the colored artist. Colored artist, artist yeah. <laughs> yeah, these Betty covers were fun. They were. Uh, Jamal did. A f I colored one of his as well. Jamal who? Or no, who did it? Who's your buddy now? Now I'm forgetting Jerome. His name. Jerome. <laughs> what did Jamal. I say? Jamal. Jamal. Oh. <laughs> you know, one of those types of names. <laughs> they they uh, all sound like. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get shit for that one, aren't I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was that that uh, Kevin Grievous uh, posted something a while back on? Um, was it? Uh, it was a peanut strip. An old no, no. Uh, Dennis the Menace, and uh, the, there was a black kid in the neighborhood, and his his name was Jackson. Yeah. And he's like, "Wait, you can't be Mike or yeah. David, or it has to be." Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> what was his last name? <laughs> What's that? What's happening, Jackson? <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> What's happening, Jackson? That actually, is, I love Action Jackson. Uh, yeah, that's right. Carl, the classic. Great, great Carl's weather. Carl yeah. Weathers, no longer with us. Let's keep it. Yeah, why can't it be Bit or Scooter? Or... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit <or> Scooter. <laughs> why couldn't it just be Brian? Hey, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't uh, that's what I've said about my own name for years. <laughs> Why couldn't it be just Brian or <laughs> Chuck or John or like I get Kelsey? Uh, thank you. Yeah, well, I hated my name for the longest time, and I then, still hate your name. Well, that's, <laughs> why, that's why I call you AA Ron instead. <laughs> But then I, I I learned that it means you know wise or enlightened one. And I went, yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> so I can work with that. You forgot the rest of it in comparison to a gnat. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's the uh, that's the Hebrew that uh, yeah. know, got lost in translation. Right? Is it really? No. Oh. <laughs> I was just thinking that is so Aaron to kind of leave out the other part. <laughs> <laughs> Wise or learned one when compared to a nap. <laughs> when I talking right. about white people names, I was thinking of this. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Breaking Away. And that bicycle and, movie? Yeah, yeah, one of the guys had gotten... Uh, beat up by a bunch of frat guys at the college and, and they were trying to figure out you know asking him did you see him he said no what they look like i don't remember all i remember is their breath smelled like like uh lavoris and they all reeked a brute aftershave <laughs> <laughs> i used to use brute my fabric hey i actually wrote <laughs> wrote that as a as a line, I wrote and drew uh, a Barack Panther comic. 
Mm. And I was, <laughs> I was trying to do like a, a real satire, like political satire. And I have him on the rooftop saying, uh, you know, there's trouble in town. I could smell, uh, the, the air is thick with, with something in Axe body spray. I can't remember what the other one was. But... So I was kind of doing that same joke. Yeah. You know? yeah. Axe body spray. Yeah. White people are near. What was that other one? High karate? Yeah, oh, high karate. That was the stuff, man. That was a great I commercial. Had to fight the women off when you put on high karate. Yeah. I don't I don't remember high karate. You don't remember the commercial? Yeah, he was like, you show that one time? Aaron. He was simply like chopping women and throwing them in the air, and you know, it was just the women are coming at him, and he's trying to use karate to defend himself. Yeah, <laughs> and these women, yeah. No. It was just like this, you know, like like banker, like accountant type with a suit and tie and thick glasses, and the women are just. Yeah, it's like it's like who says the you know the good old days weren't good. <laughs> well, nobody that's why they're called the good old days <laughs> oh yeah lord liam the six says english leather i remember that oh yeah oh i remember that one yeah. Yeah. that yeah, doesn't yeah. even sound like a good smell does it no it doesn't <laughs> the, wasn't the bottle like covered in leather Oh, uh, yeah, it did. It had like a little leather case around it. Probably faux leather, right? I mean, a little leather vest. Lurge on leather. Hey, hang on here. <laughs> oh. oh. No, Madaman, for $10. Uh, let's see. Looking at artist's line work, I've heard some of you and others say you can tell he's a painter. Can you elaborate on that at all? The difference in approach between painters and non painters? Thank you very much well i'll just uh, say that painters are, are much more smug yeah. <laughs> usually make more money um, no it's it's uh painters will tend to block in areas and uh you know comic book guys we, we're so fixated on line and uh painters tend to be fixated on shape and um money <laughs> So, yep. yeah, a painterly approach is generally something that would be, unless you're talking about Boris or something like that, or or um, uh, James Bama, that just are photorealistic in their approach and really super slick. But most painters like to sort of lean into the medium and, and use it to create texture and stuff. So you'll find painterly people will be a lot looser and bolder with their line work uh, than... Uh, a, a regular comic book pro who's obsessed with, you know, real tight line work. How's that for an explanation? That sounded pretty good, I thought. Mm -hmm. I, have I need, a, to, I need to incorporate some of your lingo into my vocabulary. Lean into the medium. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Fancy pants. Uh, there's there's a, an anecdote from, uh, from um, uh, I'm forgetting everybody's name today, apparently, uh, from Mark Texera, where he met, you know, we, you guys know Mark Texera? Yeah, yeah of course. Okay, yeah. just checking. <laughs> he, he, his style is very organic. He does a lot of cross hatching and it, it, it focuses a lot on lighting and uh, creating like dynamic shadows and highlights and all this stuff. And, um, I always love him for that, but I never really thought about him as a painter. But he said he met Frazetta uh, one time, and Frazetta took one look at his work and said, you should be painting. And he's been painting ever since. That's what started him. Well, I'll tell you, if Frank told me that, I'd be, that's what I'd all he'd be doing, too. Right. <laughs> so, obviously, Frank saw him doing all this work with ink, and it's like, why don't you just paint this? You know, you can <laughs> you can get all this value that you're creating with all these lines in one paint stroke, probably. So yeah, I, I, I had the similar experience when I, I showed my inks to Frazetta, and he told me I should be a ditch digger. <laughs> <laughs> You should quit, son. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, be in your best interest to quit doing what you're doing and try something else. <laughs> Take those ink pens and just stick them in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of what kind of great wisdom and insight am I going to get from Frank Frazetta? <laughs> just quit. <laughs> the world needs dicks. 
Ditch diggers too. Yeah. Can't all be artists, kid. <laughs> Good effort. Uh, Mike, Michael Bancroft Next. says uh, Shane have told him that that he's a painter in denial. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, hey, Michael, by the way, thank you for Mike. Mike's a painter in denial, or yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see when he starts painting because he's one of. The, I, I hope he does keep going with his with his uh, skills or whatnot, but he knows lighting and stuff really well. Uh, I think it would be just a matter of learning the tools for a guy like him, and then he'll he'll be rocking it, no problem, which well, upsets me highly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, painting is all about values, man. It's all about values. What uh, Kelsey meant to say, Michael, is don't try painting. Yeah, there you go. Thank you for clarifying that. You wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. Be awful. You would, you <laughs> would just. Yeah. You'd be terrible at it. Aaron, are you doing like a cover? <laughs> I'm doing a scene, and it's. Uh, yeah. I, how much time do I got left? Holy About crap! Minutes. Yeah. Minute. Uh, yeah. I tried to do it loose so I could get it done faster, but it's there's it's just there's a lot involved here, and because I take this show seriously, David. And, uh, <laughs> I was giving you a compliment. Oh, thank you. Quality. Yeah. <laughs> Elmer Fudu says painting helped teach me about pain. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well said. It, I used it, to I used to paint whenever I was unemployed, which was you know kind of regular. And uh, I would, uh, I went through a couple of, uh, shall we say, unproductive seasons in the comic book industry. And um, I took that time to paint. And it, both times I did it, it was like three months where I just, I didn't have any work. And um, I painted that whole time. And just when I was starting to get the hang of it, I'd get a job and then I wouldn't paint again for like five years, six years. And then you're starting all over again, you know? <laughs> uh, Griever Enterprises, $2. Thank you, Griever. He says, get Texteria on. What's he up to these days? Uh, that would be that would be pretty amazing. He, he's actually the kind of guy who probably would come on. I wonder. That would be awesome. I would love to see him... Uh, uh, I don't know that he works the same way anymore. Does he? Does he still do the ink art like he used to back in the day? Like I have with all no the... idea, man. I don't even know if you guys. Have, I haven't seen him in. I've seen, seen him do paintings. Seen him a he he gave me some pages out of the blue, and he was like, "Hey, Dave. he was kind of saucy," <laughs> <laughs> and he just gave them to me. I was just like, "Are you sure?" And he's wow. like, "No, you need to have these." <laughs> Say your name all over him. He just gave me some. Yeah, when you wake up tomorrow, are you gonna still feel the same way? <laughs> Did do you still have them? Yes, of course. What do you? What what were they? Do you remember? Some Punisher pages. Oh man! Really? Yeah. You feel like selling them? Uh, <laughs> an auction coming up here, and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that's I love that stuff. It's, um, Mike Barron wrote a lot of that stuff. Yeah, text text was interesting because uh, he was inking. He started off inking at least when I first saw him was inking uh, Salvatore. Javier. Yeah, yeah. Javier, uh, Javier uh, yeah, Salvatore or whatever on Salvatore is. Salvatore. Yeah. Ghost Rider. Yeah. And everybody was like, "Oh, this stuff is great." And then I, I mean, nothing against Javier, but it was like as soon as. <laughs> Text went someplace else. Like, well, wait a minute, that was text doing all that cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, he he ended up taking over that book, and um, man, I that's when I got into it. Just because I don't know, it had it had that same flavor as Javier, I guess, because he you know he was inking that, but right. it was like dialed up to eleven. You know, yeah. I was like, oh crap, yeah. <laughs> It was uh, it was pretty amazing stuff, and I, I've always liked his painted stuff too. 
Um, I was shocked that Image didn't snatch him up. Who? Tex. They did. On what? He he did that book for Jim Lee. Uh, um, uh, O'Brien? No, no, no. What was that? Chattel, no. What the hell book was that? I'm talking about how to do his own book. Oh, okay. No. <clears throat> Everybody no works for Image. <laughs> yeah. 40% Z says Union. Yeah, Union. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what it was. But, I mean, he might not have any ideas of his own that he wants to do. Like, uh, That's true. You know, or, or that was, I mean, I was I was really excited for, like, John Romita Jr. to do his own book. And he finally did. And it was like, uh, it, I don't know, it wasn't what I expected. Like, you could tell he's, I guess I expected big Marvel bombastic stuff, but it was, uh, you know, about a, I can't even remember. It was it's like almost mob- like how John Byrne did in X-Men. People thought, oh, man, we're going to get something as cool as X-Men and Fantastic Four, and we're like, what the? F- is this- <laughs> well, I mean, it did It did oh, show yes. me that he's interested in, like, other stuff than just your typical superhero fare. So, you know, that's, that's uh, intriguing. Like, I want to see him do more. Like, I hope he does more, more stuff. You know, there's, a lot, there's a lot in that guy, huh? When you say Jr. Jr.? Yeah, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of other stuff in there, but he's such a, a company guy. Like I don't know that he feels comfortable stretching himself, even though you, you I don't know, I get the feeling that there's a lot more going on in there that probably well, there's I mean, obviously as we all know, there's a lot of risk involved in yeah doing this. And uh you know, it's like when you're that successful, and I'm sure I can't speak for him, obviously, but uh, when you're that successful and you're making you know good money being that successful, it's kind of like, well, I don't know. Can we get him on there? I Who? don't. John Romita Jr. No way. <laughs> well, I mean, he shows up. On, he was on uh, Billy's show, and he was well, on. Yeah, he uh, does shows and he'll do interviews. Yeah, he ain't gonna draw our oh. show. Why not? Nobody. I bet, I bet he knocks out. I bet he can knock out a book and like while we're sitting here trying to yeah, draw right. this, he'd finish <laughs> the book. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I, I just, doesn't hurt I, to ask. This is like uh, you have to you have to come into this show kind of with the idea that this isn't work, but it's about kind of a challenging yourself, maybe doing something you you know weren't normally going to do. Uh, David never does that, but the rest of us try <laughs> and do that. And um, you know, I, I just think a lot of guys, are, yeah, I mean, they're drawing all the time. It's like, why do I want to come on this show and then work for two hours? That's true. Not, yeah. You know, mm. so we can fawn over them and go, "You guys are awesome." Well, what's yes, John but... Beatty's excuse then? John Beatty ain't doing nothing. Get in here, John. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I, I don't think he's seen the. I mean, all I got is his Facebook. I don't have like his email, so uh, I just posted a thing. Who knows how often he checks it? You know. Well, if he comes on, I'll uh, do my my best Mexican um, uh, accent. He just. I remember one time we were at a show and you know somebody was like, "Oh, I'm in uh, Guadalajara," and I was like, "Oh, Guadalajara is or whatever." And he, man, he and Craig Zablo, his buddy, uh, they just teased me relentlessly. They were like, "Oh, in Guadalajara, Guadalajara," <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, Guadalajara. Oh, Guadalajara. <laughs> Forgive me for trying to put some stank on it. You know, I was trying to do it. <laughs> I could do I, ever since then. It gave me like a complex because, like, ever since then, I say I say it in my most American Texan Guadalajara. I can't even try to do it. Guadalajara. Uh, four twenty-five, gentlemen. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I got to do some lettering though, and I got to put in some word balloon. That's going to be a little tricky. Hurry up. I'm really excited to see what David did 20, uh, 30 minutes ago um, <laughs> that he's done already. It must be fantastic. Yeah. Well, you know, he. Uh, it probably is. King of, king of simplification. Yeah, that's what David is. Let's get to the bare roots. I thought that's what I was doing, but. Uh, it turned out way more difficult than I thought. <laughs> I don't know how they do those simple colors for comics, man. I don't. 
Like I, when I lay down the flat, I'm like, that don't look right. Yeah. So then I start, you know. Isn't it funny how you'll accept, doing it. you'll accept flat color on like an old comic and think it looks great. And then you do it yourself and it looks like it's not even finished. And you're like, how in the world? Well, yeah, I wanted to do that with Kit Carter. But again, as soon as you lay it down, you're like, it's not done. Yeah. Hold you on. Know? Listen to this. Yo, what's up? <laughs> I'm live streaming right now. <laughs> tell him he's on the say, 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 say hello to everybody. <laughs> they say, yo. <laughs> 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 All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Uh, I was just going to say, I'll just drop the N word, please. Man, you cannot <laughs> trust David. You call him anytime. He'll put you on air. You're like, hey, by the yeah. way, hope I'll you didn't put say you on uh, in a heartbeat. <laughs> we're dropping an N bomb. We're, uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, I, I, there ain't, I, there's nothing else I can do with this. I'm just gonna stop. Just, <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait for Aaron. We're gonna kill it here. Well, how much time do I? I got three minutes. Don't give me that <laughs> wait. <for Aaron. laughs> okay, <laughs> three minutes. Ready? Go. I, I just drew generic lizard man. Just because I challenge myself, you guys. <laughs> Here, I'm going to sign this under protest. Why? I just, my lack of creature ingenuity. Oh, no, he's, I, he's, he's creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the poorly drawn artwork. <laughs> I'm lettering, so I must remain silent here. I was just thinking, yeah. how come we've never seen anyone illustrate the Hulk with a tongue like that? Now you have. <laughs> he would have a, a massive tongue. Hey, now. Oh, tongue. <laughs> yeah. And some, how some artists, you know, like Kirby would draw him with this giant mouth. He would have a, like a huge tongue to go in that. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's change the subject. Aaron's just like, stop. Yeah, yeah I'm changing it right now. Uh, where do you guys come out on uh, the thing? Should he have teeth or not? How big yeah, is his tongue? Sure. Yeah. Kirby wouldn't do it with teeth, but I know, but other people would do it and it looks all right. But I probably I draw him with teeth. I, so I like the big not, blocky teeth. Kirby did not put teeth in. No. no. Ever? Who's the no. one that started with the teeth? Was that Byrne? Well, Buscema or Romita took over. Romita did a couple issues, I think, after um, at least one issue before uh, Buscema took over when Kirby left. So I don't know who was the first. I think there's That's something it. a little bit more pleasant about him without the teeth you know he has more of like that sympathetic monster because he doesn't have teeth yeah yeah but it's not like his teeth are all sharp they're big block teeth i mean they're yeah, <laughs> they're yeah I, I, i've always drawn them with teeth because it never it never dawned on me that it, it hadn't and then someone pointed that out and i went back and looked and I'm like, yeah kirby never drew with teeth so maybe i shouldn't be drawing him with teeth i always draw with a cigar though mm -hmm. Yeah, come to think of it, like one of my all-time favorite Kirby uh, drawings of the thing is when he was eating those pancakes, mm -hmm. where he had like those plate-sized pancakes, you know, skewered with his fork, and he was just gonna hog them down with just with one bite. Mm -hmm. I like the the Barry Windsor Smith one where he wakes up with five o'clock shadow. Yeah, and it, yeah, that was a Marvel fanfare. Yeah, right. Yeah, and it ended up being macaroni that uh, was glued to glued to his face. Yeah, yeah. By uh, Johnny. Johnny, yeah. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty clever. 
<laughs> Johnny and Haji. <laughs> sim Sim Salabim. <laughs> I miss the days when we can have characters that say stuff like that. And then <laughs> I worry about the racial connotations yeah, of what right. he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> it was all innocent fun. Sim Salabim. Uh, <laughs> you know, Aaron. What's that? Drinking marijuana. Would you ever go up to an Indian person and ask him, what does Simpson Salabim mean? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I'm Native American, not Indian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right? Gary <laughs> from the to do it. I had yeah. a, uh, had a, um, a nephew who served uh, in Afghanistan. He was like in special forces. And when he got back, he was telling me these stories and showing me these pictures. And and as he's telling this, this story of, of one uh, mission and he said, Yeah, we well, had these hajis over here. And Damn. <laughs> I'm like, what? Hold on. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, these the hajis. It was, it's like that's what we called them. <laughs> All right, uh, folks, I guess we're done. It is time, right? No, Kelsey's not done. He's I, I just decided to, yep. yeah. He's I remembered I had these pens, so I was going to give it a shot. Well, well, we'll take a look at mine since I'm done and we'll get to you eventually. And okay. uh, maybe you'll be done. Uh, okay, so here is my. <clears throat> wow. Oh, man. Jeez. Oh, wow. So you got these zombies taken, and he says, you're late for your reunion, Cousin Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you got the angle's uh, mouth going there with the saliva. Yeah, uh, that's right. You had to get that sort of going on in there. Yeah, so. that's, that's, that's pure EC right there. There you go, folks. That's what you came for. That's what you get. Very nice. Nice. Yeah, you, you zombies guess. are untouchable. I don't know anybody else that does them as well as you. Well, what? The zombies. Do you owe him money or something? <laughs> <laughs> He's also, so what if I do? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You got to get that... Uh, he just wanted less vegetables in his lo mein. <laughs> Here we go. No, no, no. There we go. There you go. All right. I really I it. It. <clears throat> you were working that brush. Did you sign it? Oh. I'm going to sign it right in some place. <laughs> sign it right in the dirt. <clears throat> there you go. All right, right, folks, right. there is uh, my take. I was going to do like an old uh, Monty Python peasant pulling a cart full of dead <laughs> bodies. <laughs> and then have really like really a zombie coming out of the, the cart. Yeah. I figured I, uh, I didn't think I could pull it off in time. So I barely made this one. So I was thinking about uh, doing that costume and cart thing at a Renaissance fair. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out your bed. Yeah. Uh, evil one for two dollars says Kelsey Drew Hulk twenty ninety nine as a gamer. Disappointing. <laughs> We're not there. No, yet. he's not. He's not the one gaming. That's supposed to be. Oh well, we'll see when it's my turn. I'll I'll, I'll make all the excuses. <laughs> um. Let's see here. You know, I need more compliments. Let's see. <laughs> oh. There's got to be some here somewhere. No, Madaman says, laugh out loud, stagging <laughs> over on the right. <laughs> I can't find any compliments. <laughs> I know they're in here somewhere. Keep, people. Keep looking. No, there was a, there was a very strange thread going on there, and I was trying to see if I should bring it out or not, but I don't think I will. Uh, okay, let's take a look at what David's got for us there. Oh. What's uh, David? What's the uh, backstory going on? Oh, here? yeah. Tell us what you're. Uh, what's going on here? Woman gets killed by axe. There's your cover. The end. <laughs> I hate blonde bitches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a compelling story. <laughs> no, it's got, That's it's awesome. got a, no, it's That's got smart. a nice little uh, crime suspense vibe there. You know, a little. Uh... This is what David thinks white people do. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not wrong, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's in our repertoire. Uh, Blue Boy That's Comics great. says David got a big booty. I don't know where that came from, but uh, yeah. What? Yeah, I love the movement of this. His hands are awesome. Holy smokes. I'm glad I didn't look at Aaron's this much. It, <laughs> You're falling apart. Well, so I, I had guy, to know that not both of y'all can't be great. Is this guy holding her shoulder, you know, uh, to give her a warning because she <clears throat> she knows what's coming, or he's about to spin way. her around? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Time to pay the piper. No, I love that. See, David, you captured the spirit. You you did it. Yep. You you can do it, David. You can. <laughs> you just draw like that all the time. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you draw like that all the time, David? What's your problem? I love it, man. Holy <laughs> smokes! You could have like three books out this year. You know, know right? fast like this. Uh, Dennis C. Nolasco says goes with that Xmas EC cover exactly. That's the neighbor next door doing the same thing. It's like the whole neighborhood, man. They're hatching up their wives. <laughs> yeah, that's great. No, OJ ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see what uh, let's see what Kelsey's brought to the. Oh, geez. Mm. Ah. All right. I got the I got kind of the arms to work a little bit. <laughs> They're too dark though. I like it all... better without the red on the arms. I know. <laughs> yeah, take it off. yeah, go back to the. Blame other. the audience, sir. For Look that. at this guy. Who is that guy playing the game? He's having a good time though. He, he's yeah. a gamer for life. See, yeah, <laughs> that looks like Phil Barassa. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's Philly. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this VR feels almost real. And he's got like drooling on his head. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, there you go. Very simple concept. Like like uh, this is like my poor man's uh, attempt at a. Uh, Bernie Wrights and dual yeah, shadowing. I was say, that's yeah. Yeah, very, yeah. Very, yeah, I was gonna say that is very rights and That's nice looks better over I here. Do. Oh, don't look too close. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I want you to see the Muppet faces. <laughs> Lieutenant Hughes says he loves it. So there you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't really capture that EC feel, I don't think, but you know, and it wasn't really trying. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're being honest. I was just trying to get something that made sense. You know, that's, I, if I tried an EC style, I'd still be doing it right now. That's where. Uh, Lieutenant Hughes says, "Damn, Kelsey, can I say winner? Ding, 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 ding for a buck ninety nine. You can yeah. say it all you want. Oh, this right. Oh, I had this all wrong. Never mind. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, it's not a competition, so uh, uh, there's no winning to be had. But um, <laughs> we do appreciate your participation, Kelsey. Uh, great flesh tone on the on the. See, everybody's complimenting you. Uh, great flesh tone on the gamer says multi revelator." Awesome. Yeah. It's red and yellow. Something Aaron told me never to do. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Looks like it's yellow. Uh, Wizard Sleeve says 50 cents confirmed. So he's on that. Mm. That's a sale right there. <laughs> All right. People are saying bring on the auction. Quit screwing around. And um, let's quit well, screwing around. 50 pen pieces. $50 for this. Or wait, wait. Five cents. What did you say? 50 it's, cents? Uh, 50 it's, cents. It's, He's already but 20, 20 bucks to mail it, though. That's a... <laughs> well, you know, you can't have everything. Yeah, Angela, uh, um, you can you can send me a bell. A bell. I'll, I'll accept any kind of noise-making uh, gadgets. <clears throat> All right. Who's uh, who's going first? Who's who's for what? Oh, yeah, now, we're going. What we're, what we're going to do, folks, in the chat is... Um, uh, where some you can uh, each artist will determine if he wants to put a uh, minimum bid on there, and so there's going to be some standards here, and then we'll start the bidding, um, and we'll go for a few minutes. If there's no bids, we're just going to move on, so don't delay too much. And uh, once the bidding starts, if it's fluid, we'll keep it going for probably about ten minutes, and then we're going to end it. Because we want to keep it moving. Graham Nolan's launching Monster Island actually right now on his channel. So we want to get out of the way so Graham can uh, get all your guys' attention. But we don't want you to leave yet. No, so. see, Evil One is saying I ripped off an episode of Tales from the Crypt Keeper cartoon. 
Well, that still counts, though, because that well, I don't even know. I didn't even know there was such a thing. So no, uh, there's no. a Crypt Keeper cartoon. Give me a break. I can't keep up with all the lore. I, I love how Wizard Sleeve's paying attention. You're actually doing an auction? <laughs> I've only been talking about it for a week. Um, Is all the right. cartoon good? I'm still stuck on the cartoon. I want to see if it's good. I want to check it out. <laughs> all right. We're 11 minutes past start time. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so get your stuff together. We'll start off with Calvin and Hobbes and go from there. Okay. If we must. We must. All so right, is there a, a minimum bid on this piece, Aaron? No, I'm I'm offering it up. Um, but, offering up for sacrifice. That's right. If you rate the pencils, would there be a, a minimum bid? If there was what? Never mind. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I need you to type in a number if you want to bid on it and say confirmed so we know that you actually have a bid. Uh, this is my Calvin and Hobbes uh, tribute. It says, Captain, we're entered the, uh, we've entered the neutral zone. We are now in violation of treaty. I'm aware of my responsibilities, Mr. Spork. Are you Daniel Russell, $20 confirmed. Are you questioning my authority on this bridge? I'm in command here. And then his mom says, Calvin, time for dinner. He says, I don't recognize your authority to relieve me. So there you go. If you're a Trekkie, how can you not want this? Moon Google. There you go. Fifty dollars confirmed. Now we're talking. Now we're getting someplace. That's worth going to the post office for. That's right. And there's uh, <laughs> there is some shipping charges involved. Probably about depending on the size of the piece like this, would probably be like uh, fifteen bucks shipping. So keep that in mind. And uh, let's move on. No Madaman says I want that for a hundred. Hundred dollars confirmed. Wow. Nice Good job. That is a great piece. I like that. You captured the, the rough ink work, too, of uh, Watterson. I was trying to. It wasn't because I was hurrying, but it also wasn't because <laughs> I was hurrying. <laughs> it just worked out that way. Yeah. yeah, Hobbs expression in the middle panel is, is worth 100 bucks right there. I like his E, you know. <laughs> yeah, very fun. Now, I did leave out some letters or some words in a couple of these word balloons because I was speeding through it. So you get the unedited version, but you have to fill in the blanks yourself. I thought and, you corrected it. I thought, did you well, do I it? I did digitally, but I didn't do it on the original. Because <laughs> oh. I would actually have to, I mean, I could, if it, whoever gets this, if you want me to put add in the words, I'd have to do some whiteout and stuff. So if you don't mind it's that on better. the original. Yeah, it's better with the uh, typos. Yeah, that way there's no lying about your spelling uh Prowess. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was. <laughs> this is what we did live, so it's kind of like you know that's the piece. Got, got one twenty uh, confirmed. Yeah. Like it or lump it. There we go. One twenty confirmed. Thank you so much. That's uh, Togamu Model Works. About that. Daniel Russell came in with one hundred and eleven confirmed, but that's just too late. <laughs> so yeah, this is pretty rare, you guys, because uh, chances of me ever doing one of these again is probably slim to none. So, uh, probably greater than manga. Uh, yeah, well, I know there's with you around, there's a much greater chance I'll be doing manga than I'll ever be doing one of these again. I'm gonna do manga, Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the choices. 130 <laughs> confirmed manga. Yeah, <laughs> actually, well, you might be onto something there. I might be good. good. Not that idea. So, Nomadman's back in the lead with 130 confirmed. We'll give this a uh couple more minutes here and then we'll wrap it up um no madam says he wasn't sure if those typos were intentional oh, of course they were why would i make a mistake yeah. like that yeah. <laughs> they were. what uh what, is this on fine artisanal paper uh, uh we call it two-ply bristol but uh, you okay. can call it whatever you like <laughs> Oh, uh -oh. is not going to be denied. He says 140 confirmed. Yeah, we got wow. a war going on. Mm. Well worth it, folks. I can tell you that. I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll vouch for that. <laughs> worth every penny. Uh, Old Adam, man, are you going to stand for that? Apparently. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I guess if you want to be punked live on TV, that's that's well, your, up to you. But. Right. Yeah, you want to be. Uh, there we go. Want to be there we go. Up. No, no, I'm, gonna, I'm taking it right now. He's stepping up to the plate. Hmm. 
we'll give it here uh, give it a few more minutes and then uh, we'll counter down. Ah, what the heck? We'll counter down right now. Yeah. There you um, go. So uh, I'm going to start typing in the chat here. So you have to get oh, in. Hold a second. Huh? The man says, I take my art like I take my corn dogs, black and white. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gamo's saying, no, 160 confirmed. Well, I'm going to start counting down. Here we go. 10. Nine. So get in there because there is a, there is a lag. If you want to bid on this, don't wait till like I type in one because you won't get in. Uh, eight. And I'm not going to start over either, so be careful if it gets stolen. Don't become uh, – I'm not encouraging that sort of behavior, of course. But There we uh, go. <laughs> oh, no, Madam and saying, nope, 170 confirmed. <laughs> All right, so I was on five. I'm going to keep the uh, – Oh, keep the pressure on. Pressure on four. Oh, you just got in there late. Oh, oh, just too late. Add another 10 on that. Three. Oh, he's bidding for Nomadaman, though. Three. Here we go. Two. Oh, yeah, Actually, Henry Jeremick's right. He goes, I did use the dialogue from the Enterprise in the Doomsday Machine. Yep, I sure did. One. And then I'm going to put sold. And when sold comes up, it is over, folks. S O L D. <gasps> Boom. There it is, sold to Nomadaman for one seventy. Nice. Uh, thank you so much for that, Nomadaman. Throw in an extra fifteen if you wouldn't mind for packaging this up safely. So that'll be one eighty-five. PayPal is Aaron at AaronLapresti.com. Let me put it in there. Well done. Uh, be sure to be sure to put what the art is too. Yes, uh, oh, I got know. real confused by that. <laughs> and your address. Yes. <laughs> Believe it or not. Sometime. And your bank account number. Yeah, there it is. There it is. PayPal is Aaron at AaronLopresti.com. Thank you very much, No Madaman. You have very fine taste. Okay, so who's next? Gary? <laughs> I could do one. Okay, David, David ready. ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Oh. Here's my Calvin and Hobbes piece. <laughs> oh. Do we have a minimum on this or are you just going for it? Uh, 50. So let's get a $50 bid in there, folks. One of the best Calvin and Hobbes pieces I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> not a great Batman, though, but an excellent uh, Calvin and Hobbes piece. <laughs> I love this. It's so tothy looking. Yeah. Again, you should draw like this all the time. I wish you had like uh, I'd feel no. a lot better about myself if you drew more like this stuff. No, no matter, I'm, no matter I'm how you spend money around. Oh, sweet. I'm, I'm putting out an offer. Uh, because this is on uh, uh, copy paper, I could I could mount it on some board, but also that'd be nice. Um, I could add color for another hundred bucks. Whoa! Ooh. There you have it. Wow! So if we go up to like a hundred and seventy, Paul snuck in. I saw Paul this past weekend at the. Uh, at the show, Paul Briller, our resident uh, engineer, says hundred dollars. I'm taking that. Wow, no color though. It needs to be 170 for color, right? Well, at this point, whatever you're bidding, you'd have no, to add a hundred on. Oh, two hundred. Oh, you have I to see. Win it, then you can say okay for next another hundred <laughs> color on there. I like the black and white though, because yeah, it does too. have that tothian quality. Like yeah, I like, I like in black and yeah. white too. Although in some nice, just some, you know, something, something just muted, some grays and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, so Paul is our high bidder at a hundred yeah. schmackers right now. What pen did you use that? Did you do that with Sharpie? Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Um, wait a minute, you guys. I got to take care of something here. Uh, uh -oh. Keep bidding. Blue Boy Comics says, I'd relieve myself of life if Kirk was my captain. Um, I'll relieve you of your life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get back to the bidding now. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> Brief interlude to take care of some business there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Uh, let's see. Blue Boy says, I tried to sneak that one in, but it didn't work, did it? You can't sneak Trek by me, especially if you're talking <laughs> bad about <laughs> Captain Kirk. Hmm. It's currently at 100 bucks, you guys. Let's uh, see, give it a couple more minutes here, get a little more action, and then we're going to start counting down. I watched uh, some of those track animated shorts. Um, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, <laughs> they called uh, Commander Riker Bill. Mm. His name is William. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. okay, he's never ever been referred to as Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Pulling your nerd card. <laughs> well, Madam and saying, I'll take that for 110, David. Ooh. Wow. You know, Paul, Paul, are you going to sit there and take that? I know, right? Oh, no. Probably better come correct. Paul's not going to take it. He says, I'll take it for 125 is what I'll do. Wow. He's not messing around. Uh, so let's not forget Paul's high right now, 125. Uh, uh, Tagamo Model Works, $5. Thank you so much. He says, where were we before... We were so rudely interrupted. Kirk rules. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now we've got, look at, see, now we've got Star Trek going on in the uh, the, the chat. People saying uh, Bones is greater than Kirk. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> well, what do you think, Nomadaman? Are you going to go, uh, you're going to go over 125? You're going to let Paul take this for 125. Paul saying, Aaron, shut up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Start the countdown, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Right. The pressure's on. Yep. We're going to start have counting. David. Have David do the countdown. Let's see. He has more yeah, at stake. Yeah, but I've got to I gotta type it in though. Huh. Here you go. Ten. And remember, don't wait till it says two if you're going to bet at the last minute because it'll already be gone. Uh, you're on a delay. Don't forget. Oh, look, at, look at Nomsky's. Oh, damn, the auctions today. We've been saying it for a whole week. Nomsky, get in there. <laughs> yeah, man. We've been saying it for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Seven. Paul's feeling comfortable, but I know Nomadaman is lurking in the shadows right now. Six. Five, we're counting it down. Gonna close her up. Four. Yeah, it's a pretty four. sweet. Pretty that sweet deal. Three. Two. One. And I'm typing in sold. S O L D T U R. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Paul Brillart takes it home for 125 plus. Nice. Uh, what do you need for shipping, David? 20. She so said 20 for shipping. So 145. Uh, where do you want this? How do you want him to pay you? Uh, you could either do uh, cash app at uh, dollar sign black line art. What's or, the Venmo? Uh, the Venmo is at S C W dash one. S or S C well, S C W dash one at S C W dash one at S C W dash one. That's Venmo right there for David. I just put it up Venmo at S C W dash one. Uh, and if you have cash app, say, I think Paul is cool with Venmo. He's a smart guy. I think he got it figured out. Okay. All right. So there we go. Um, Thank you, Paul. Awesome. Uh, I guess Gary, Kelsey, you want to go? Oh. Uh, yeah, I can go if you don't want okay. to. We'll go, Kelsey. Um, all right, let's do this. You wanted some new Ooh. stuff. Ooh How about the Watchmen in oh. the style of Rob Liefeld's uh, <laughs> X Force, right? Or is what, it young? Uh, blood? No, they no. all look like that. Do we have a starting bid on this? You're just gonna no, go just uh, we'll do lightning sale. You guys, guys there it want is. it? Let's do it. Wide open, you guys. First bid. Mm. Yeah, this is lovingly rendered uh, in marker uh, <laughs> very quickly uh, on this show. Um, it, it, it Rob Liefeld signed off on this. By the way, I sent it out to him, and what he was. Doing? 
Oh, wait was, a minute. What happened? I hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Excuse me. I was talking about Rob Liefeld's uh, approval of this piece. Um, <laughs> if I remember that correctly. I, I don't know. I could be mistaken and my memory's losing my memory a little bit. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he would approve of this piece, um, which adds uh, Daniel Russell, $20 confirmed. Thanks, Daniel. It's oh, Lieutenant Hughes, 25 bucks. Thank you. 35. I'm looking at my TV monitor. 35. 35. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> <laughs> still, there's still a lot of love out there for Rob. Yeah, so we got uh the owl, Dang, we got Warshack. Okay. Yeah. We got um a Ampidextrious. What's that guy's a name? Amb ambidextrious? Yeah. <laughs> we got uh <laughs> a superpowers he could use either hand to write with. <laughs> yeah, blue man group. Uh, um Fox Molder's not fooling around, jumped it up to 125. Oh, nice. Awesome. There we go. Now, now that's that's uh, coming correct. Here's yeah. going to be the hard part: trying to name these characters as the uh, X Force character that they were. Or no, no, Youngblood. It was Youngblood, right? Yeah, this cover. Youngblood. Yeah. So this was uh, yeah. Al is Shaft. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time since I looked at that cover. Um, uh, uh, Warshack is is Die Hard. Mm -hmm. um, Ambidextrous <laughs> is uh, Cable. No, he's not in Youngblood. No. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, he's going to be Maul. Or not Maul. Maul that was... wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look this up real quick. No, no, no. Um, or maybe maybe Comedian was uh, was uh, Die Hard. No, I can't remember, honestly. Wasn't it that... What was that black character with the skull on his face? Yeah. Chapel. Um, Bishop? Chapel. 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 Look at Aaron with the Rob Liefeld knowledge. I don't know how that, I don't know how I knew that. I don't know. That's where amazing. Well, my, you're a nerd. You just <laughs> revealed something about yourself, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did I know that? Closet Rob Liefeld fan in the house. Good to, good to see you. <laughs> Citizen people. Ronan says, that's not really selling the piece, Kelsey. Oh, so, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> And uh, what's her name? Um, That's the Silk Stocking. Silk, Silk Spectre. The Silky Spectre. Yeah. Um, and she's uh, playing uh, Void. No, no, no. Voodoo. No, no, no. What was that character? Skull <laughs> <laughs> Master got it. Vogue. Okay. Yeah. Just because I got lucky with Chapel doesn't mean I know anything else. <laughs> it's literally been like 25 years since I read that comic. <laughs> When, when did it come out? It was then. That's the when. Nine, I, was yeah, nine, that's when I read it. I don't know. <laughs> I think the, the 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 part that really sings on this one for me is uh, is comedian man. I think he came out really good. Yeah. Um, wow. No. Uh, where's focus? Hold on, I can't even see my screen. Yeah. So like, no, no Muppet face there. Not much of a Muppet face. I even have. Look at this. This is worth like ten bucks. A little gun, a little bullet, gun, a little bullet yeah. on the. Yeah. Blood on the Pendant. Yeah, and then I do have some Muppet face representing uh, a little bit. There you go. <laughs> now, uh, he's a monster says, I love this chat. I know y'all hate me, but I love y'all. No, we love you. He's a monster. Come on. Why would we hate we love our monsters around here. Yeah, yeah, remind us why we hate you. <laughs> yeah. So we can <laughs> properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. So this is also on archival uh, t uh, copy paper. Oh, um, <laughs> well, look! You've got a you've got a bonus painting on the back. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it's right. The abstract you version. Mm -hmm. You can go either way. You can flip it around and you've got two pieces of art. <laughs> All right, let's start that countdown. All right, here we go. Uh, Ten. Um, no, Madman says I just bought the monsters on DVD. Oh. Uh, uh, now you just made me want that really bad right now. I know. I, when I, said, I was like, oh, that'd be awesome to have that on DVD, wouldn't it? It would. I do have all the original Trek episodes with Captain Kirk on the DVD, though. Yeah, I got that too. There you go. Talking... Eight. Go ahead. Seven. Big seven. Uh, Evil Six. one giving out the alert that the auction is ending. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. <laughs> six is right next to seven in case you're uh, and uh, what was the old joke why was uh six afraid of seven because somebody ate nine what? Seven, eight, nine. Oh, <laughs> no, i think that's it <laughs> and i love count. 
Okay, four. If you're gonna sneak in there, do it now. For uh, do it now. Max uh, Mulder three. running away with this. He is still talking about Star Trek. I, I got him. Uh, unfortunately, I got him. Dis uh, um, I can't even think. I got him uh, distracted. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. I apparently am distracted. You're distracted by being distracted. <laughs> exactly. One, and here we go. I'm typing in sold to the American. Awesome. Boom. Yay. There it is. Congratulations, hey, Fox. Fox Mulder. <laughs> The truth is out there. The truth that this is a rocking piece that you just right. won. Thank you, sir. Well done. <laughs> how, how do they send you money, Kelsey? Uh, my PayPal is govoltron at gmail.com. Govoltron. Well, I'm putting it in the chat. Govoltron. Yeah. Dot, it's just govoltron.com. Yeah. No, and if govoltron at gmail.com. Gmail. Okay. Govoltron at gmail.com mail.com there it is yeah and i'm gonna write you down but if your name is not fox boulder on there be sure to remind me who yeah. who it is because i've i've been very confused by some of the put your address so we don't have to ask you like a week later where, what's your where's your address <laughs> that's right and toss in i don't know what do you need 15 20 what do you need for shipping there something like that yeah there you it's, go it's pretty light you know, 15 bucks i guess there you go uh, all right, Gary's turn. I think Gary has a reserve. Thanks, item. Fox. Thank you, Fox Mulder. Uh, Gary, doing your, is this kind of a Bruce Tim? Is that what that is? It, yes, mm -hmm. it is a Bruce Tim recreation. What, what size? size? From the Avengers. It's uh, <clears throat> on 11 by 17 uh, Bristol board. Okay. And it's lovingly rendered with, with uh, brush and India ink uh, over a uh, uh, graphite pencil. Do you have a uh, minimum on this? Minimum, um, let's do 100. There it is. Gary wow. demands 100 bucks, so give us at least $100 for this. And that's a steal, folks, for the 11 by 17 uh, inked by a professional. Whoa. What could you ask for? Of the Avengers are that, too. Professionals <laughs> around here are very rare. So uh, <laughs> that's right. Take advantage of it <laughs> when, when it's on there. Uh, yeah, this is fantastic. This uh, this was a series, the uh, Avengers that Bruce Tim and uh, Eric Larson did, right? Or, and it was inked by like Royer yeah. and other people. Yeah, a bunch of guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Bill. Appreciate it. A bunch of guys doing a bunch of stuff. Um, well, we got. Well, hang on a second. Now, who bid first? Best Age Comics came at a hundred dollars and just snuck in front of Birdman Burr. So Birdman Burr, you got to do like I don't know, at hundred and five at least. Hey, I'm offended by confirmed. <laughs> that didn't. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Wow. My goodness. The chat getting a little salty there. You'd be like <laughs> in the grocery store with me and say, Gary, look at this rice. It's brown. How come the, the brown rice is the wild rice? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're looking for 105. Come on, Birdman. He can put, squeeze another five. Oh, he's saying, he said, Aaron, screw you with 105. I'm going 120. Yeah, not messing around. Now we're talking. Wow. Um, now there's some disgusting stuff going on in the chat. You guys are terrible. Oh, no. Oh, SH Comics says, nope, 150. He's SH. putting the pressure on the Birdman. Yeah, so this is um, Higgins Black Magic India ink. So it will it will last. Uh, it can be an heirloom that you can hand down. Birdman says nope. 175 does not seem out of my range for this magnificent piece. So he's there. 175. Look at that. Not at all. 11 by 17. Yeah, you guys, is dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. I'd pay 250 for this at minimum. Honestly, I mean this is sweet. I love how I, fluid those lines are. Insane. Well, I would attempt to shoplift it first. But then, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll try to sucker them into an art trade, you know. Yeah, that's... I was just reaching into my wallet. I wasn't trying to take this. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I keep moving so Aaron doesn't uh, rob my art collection. Oh, you know, you know who I do you guys know um well, you probably don't. Um, do you know Brett Bean? 
character designer. No, he's really good. He, I could probably get him on. And uh, I want to get Chris Ayers. Chris doesn't talk much. Brett talks a lot. So, but Chris Ayers is also a character designer. Does fantastic work. We really embarrass us. Um, and that's what we want on the show. Uh, that's what we want. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, John says Aaron's in Seattle, so shoplifting is the normal currency there. <laughs> well, I'm in Portland, but they actually do that in Portland as well, apparently. Uh, yeah, Portland. So <clears throat> notice how I uh, cleverly framed the image with the action, action lines. Oh, yeah. That goes without saying. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to say it. No. Oh. So I could try to squeeze in an extra. It doesn't problem. go without saying. It has, It must be said. That's right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, guys. Let's. Uh, anybody going to go take out Birdman Burr at one seventy five and get that up to? Uh, oh, come on, this is worth two hundred bucks easy. I mean, that's low end. Even for Gary, two hundred dollars yeah, is low even end. For me. So, so, <laughs> even for you. <laughs> So, Gary, do you like inking in a Kirby style? I love it. I wish. I, I think. I think probably my. You you would be like Senate over Kirby. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yep. Are have you? You must have done some Kirby recreations at some point, haven't oh, you? Oh, a ton. Why am I not? I'm blanking on them. Well, I'm, next week I'll I'll show them. Okay. I'll have some in the in the art book. Because I would think you would knock those out of the park. Yeah, he's so fun to ink. Who, Kirby or yeah, Tim? Kirby. Kirby. Uh, Gary, give us a rundown of the characters. Uh, Elmer Fudu says, who are the characters up top? This is the original Avengers. I mean, yeah, come on. Giant dude. Man and the Wasp up there. That's right. But what would they be in Youngblood? <laughs> yeah, I would be uh, um, shoulder pad man. And, <laughs> and All right, we're going to start a countdown here, Birdman. Hang on to your hat. Ten. Nine. Eight. Look at the size of a Hulk's tongue in that seven. <laughs> Best age, he says. Okay, two hundred. I'll do it. Oh, Ooh, thank Birdman, you. pressure. Nice. Birdman. Now, according to the rules, I'm going to continue with the countdown, Birdman. So get in there quick if you're going to. Yeah, Best sneaking in with the countdown. Five. Look how flat his head is. Yeah. This. This is. Yeah. This is. This is uh, Bruce Tim. Four. This is me doing Bruce Tim doing Kirby. Wow, that Birdman. Two twenty. Three. You got no could time, start, Aaron. Could you huh? start to count over? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> in in light of uh, in light of our new rules to keep this thing moving, we're. Uh, uh, Angela's yelling at me. Start yes, the Angela oh, she's oh, yelling, oh, yelling. Yelling. <laughs> Birdman's pissed at me now. Right. Thank, like, you. Thank you, Angela. How about just go up to five, not ten? Okay, I'm go I did. Five. Four. Three. Two. Angela's laughing at us now because we fell <laughs> for a <crappy laughs> scheme. One and I'm typing in sold. Birdman Bird gets it for two twenty. Wow! All right, uh, Gary, what's your uh, what's your PayPal? Uh, let's see if I can put it in the chat. Oh, okay, go ahead if you can. There it is. Yeah, that's a great one. It's a good piece. Thank you, Birdman. Um, again, a name, piece that you're buying, address, uh, bank account number, <laughs> uh, security number. Yeah, there it is. It, number. Ink art at earthlink.net. Gary just put it Correct. in there. Yeah. Um, How big is that again? 11 by 17. Oh, yeah. Dang. There's something right. about big art like that. 
you know, big open, simplified kind of designs, but gigantic. Just love the yeah, look of that. Speaking of gigantic art, this is uh, this is me purging myself of anything manga. Uh, <laughs> purging yourself. This Here is a go, great folks. piece, man. You're too hard on yourself. You'd be a great manga fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think there you have is, you have what it takes, folks. <laughs> there's no reserve on this. Take it away. <laughs> I, this this needs to be your highest selling piece of all time. I think that would be where, awesome. Where, where, where are the you weaves know, at? Come on now. <laughs> you guys know that manga is dead, and we're about to prove it again. Thirty dollars nope. confirmed, Lieutenant Hughes. Thank you very much. I got some life happening up in here. Mm -hmm. Paul Brillard. Uh, going the wrong way, 1547 confirmed. <laughs> uh, not it that way. We're gonna... Oh, I'm sorry, Birdman. Um, 20 would be good for shipping. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, thank uh, you. Daniel Russell says $40.99 confirmed, but no. The Art of T Times of Jay Ryan says, I'm going to give him $50. So he upped it by a penny. Okay, you guys got to at least up it by like five bucks jeez <laughs> yeah no no yeah. no dollar bids so i gotta be at least five dollars yeah there you go uh this is 11 by 14 she ha her bus size has got to be double d yeah. or triple d or something there so come on manga lives Manga is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Russell, oh Japanese fighting spirit. Sixty-nine dollars confirmed plus tax. That's a good one. We should just leave it yeah. there. Help a cheat there. Oh, Lieutenant go. Hughes, not to be outdone. He loves him some. These guys, these guys are the nickel and dime squad. They're they're getting me now. It's like, okay, how about yeah. seventy-seven dollars like and thirty-six? Something I really appreciate about this piece. Um, I really like the marbling of the, the color you used on the, on that creature. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really like that. No, oh, thank you. I used my expensive watercolors because the ones David talked me into don't work. <laughs> I didn't tell you to buy those <laughs> freaking watercolors. <laughs> no, that was I me. I think he told you not to buy them. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, Nomadaman says you need to increase the bid by at least three marble incentives. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Daniel Russell, $77.33 in black licorice confirmed. <laughs> Uh, don't send me any more black licorice, Daniel. I still got a bag of it sitting right here. Ugh. What? People are sending you candy? Well, if you call black licorice candy, I call That's it. That's true. I haven't had that in. No, you got to up the ante with uh, Coke pickled eggs, right? Yeah. Oh, now that would be interesting. Stephen Ng is saying, I'm, I'm not fooling around $100. Thank you, Stephen. Stephen's a serious art buyer. He doesn't That's fool right. around. That's right. And a serious, manga. serious manga fan. Yep. Good to see you. We still got, we're still representing. Oh. The show. We need to explain that this is based on the comic book Orion by the magnificent Masumune, Masumune Shiro. Uh, who's this character? Do you know? Orion. Is that is that actually Orion? Sure. <laughs> you don't have a clue. <laughs> it's been a while since I read it. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure that's Orion. Uh, <laughs> okay. We're going to count it down, uh, Stephen. Uh, Birdman, uh, I did get your payment. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ten. <clears throat> All the fans for in Japan haven't woken up yet. We got We should wait. It's Nine. My time oh, no. Uh, Evil One says, I don't know what Kelsey just said. Uh, we'll join the club. Uh, okay. There's eight. Seven. Yeah, my manga is hurting. That's for sure. Confirmed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Manga Mark is dying right before our very eyes. Uh, five. So has it been has it been established that this the camera's doing tricks to your red, or is that actually orange? No, it's much redder than that. Okay. On my on my TV screen over here, it looks like the same Chinese orange. <laughs> no, I know it does, but if but I on held the monitor, up, 
Wait a minute. I, it's this camera. If I hold it up to my other camera, you can see how red it is. Mm. Hey, Mickey's like, uh, oh, Mickey, you are so fine. You're oh, so Mickey. You blow my mind. Yeah, One she's gonna, yeah. There we she's go. Set that on fire on, on her uh, live stream. Oh, even better. Yeah. <laughs> so then we go back to five, according to Gary's rules, four. <laughs> Three. Thanks for representing manga. Surely we got some more manga fans. Come on. I don't think we do, Kelsey. I'm not. I'm at one, and I don't. Uh, no. Mickey's saying it's just too good to let go. There it is. Sold. All uh, right. Being Mickey for one ten. I will once again enter in my uh, PayPal. Wait, Long live the queen. Mickey, Thanks for yeah, good job. <laughs> Mickey, into the fire you go. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> into the fire you go. All right, well, it's going to cost you an extra 15 bucks shipping to Mickey to burn that. So, uh, so I'm looking Worth for it, 125 from you. And you got a mission to make our art more valuable. <laughs> uh david are you ready yeah <clears throat> so oh, i'm thinking man. i could sell like this lot <laughs> wow you could, really you people are gonna go for that thing man hmm? people love the thing you yeah. watch so oh, i love the ec one you just did I, yeah so all I'm three thinking, of these people the minimum bid for all three of these is 150. So anybody want to throw 150 out there for big Dave Williams, booty Dave Williams? <laughs> so Daniel Russell says all 200. Dang it! Uh, awesome. Kelsey was like, "This beat me, man." I got Kelsey was going to his couch, going, "Do I have enough?" <laughs> Kelsey. Yeah, there was, Kelsey came in late at one. Ah. All He's right, a well. monster. Came in late at 150. Oh, I ain't going. I ain't going higher than that. I, ain't going, <laughs> I want it, but I. <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna go dig through his trash so I can live without it for now. Yeah. Uh, Elmer yeah, Food Dude says people seem to really like David's art. Yeah, it's kind of good. It might be why. Uh, why do you see? think we're so bitter? <laughs> David's always around getting all the kudos. This monster is getting serious. 250. This is an excellent lot for yes. even for 250. It, it, I mean, yeah. there's some great stuff in here. So all our uh therapists hear the same thing from us when we're on the couch. <laughs> oh, David. David. Yeah, that damn Davis. <laughs> 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 All wow, man! Paul Brillard says. Me. Paul Brillard says no Kurt Russell to break Kelsey's heart. Uh, <sighs> yeah, Daniel Russell. Daniel Russell is getting serious, man. He wants this stuff. Two sixty. Wow. Crash Nine says that David Williams Monster Pack. That is it pack. is. It is. Yeah. There you go. The Monster Pack. <laughs> that skull. Uh, oh, own... you got to say that that's from. Uh, Wait a that's minute. From Fearsome. From this Fearsome. Thing. Yeah. So two seventy C means two seventy confirmed, right? He's a monster. Yeah. So that's David. Is that the first original art being Here's sold? The, of, the of, first of original Fearsome? Fearsome art that will be sold. So there you go. You're getting yeah, that's a collector's stuff. item right there. Yeah. And you get David's thing. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the thing. What do you think? What do you think oh, I said? <laughs> Why did we all assume the worst? <laughs> well, uh, considering the source is uh, when you say the thing is completely uh. different. Yeah, these are killer, man. I, I if I had, I'd pay two seventy just for the. If EC you weren't one. a freelancer, you'd pay two seventy. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I just love that piece. That's so good. Is that on board illustration board? 
it's on this really thick, like card stock type yeah. off off white. That oh, I was okay. using. I could you could paint on it and everything. It's real nice. Oh. Yeah, he's a muncher. Just says confirmed. Okay. <laughs> got you. Got the oh, I see because he got the full word in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wasn't sure if he's he was, making a joke and saying two hundred and seventy cents, and I was like, no, oh, he, he was. was kind of, uh, <laughs> he was being. You know, terse, and, and none of us got it. No. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, he's saying 270, see? <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, 270, see? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Uh, let's see. John said that first Malone would go for 150 on eBay. Once the book comes out, you can tell people to tune into this video at Timestamp to verify its first art sold. There you go. Oh, That's yeah. true. The thing also, I have great luck with the thing. People love the thing. So you guys, this is a great deal here. 270 for all three of those. Oh, that first fearsome piece though. That's true. Collector's item. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel Russell said, all right, talk me into 275. Nice. Still, still a steal. Still a steal. Still a steal, see? Yeah, see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the lighting on that skull i mean insane. come on we are such three idiots i mean <laughs> doing that stupid imitation and it cracks us up <laughs> we're simple people they <laughs> <laughs> were simple things is kind of what he's saying. yeah <laughs> When yeah, I was doing great. this, it felt like uh, Jorge Savino. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really looks like Jack in that, actually. It's really wild. I think yeah. you captured <laughs> Jack in the thing there. Yeah, I, I can feel that. He's feel like, you love. smell like a hippie. <laughs> 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 I killed people like you in in Korea, or where, 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 in World War II. Uh, yeah, people are. He's a monster. Put in confirmed, but he hasn't said what he confirmed. So it's still at two seventy five until I actually see the number. Um, so Daniel Russell still uh, high. He's still high. He's high. He's still high. He's a high as. <laughs> I love David endlessly arranging the uh, images. That's right. Uh, oh, it's like it's of, like an animation. <laughs> Every time he changes the, the the order, he gets a bid. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> oh, yeah, three hundred confirm. I mean, he's a monster. And good deal. Uh, people are saying link to fearsome. Yeah, you know there are links in the description of this video for uh, Kit Carter Planet Doom graphic novel. That's mine, David's, and EVS's fearsome preview book. There's a link in there and Kelsey's uh, scribble sketchbook. All those links are in the description of this video, so you can check them right there. They'll take you right to the campaigns. Thank you. By the way, as far as Fearsome goes, Ethan told me some other parts of what's to come in it, and it's going to be awesome. How many, how many are you doing? Like, how long is this? It's probably going to be about, like, six issues. Are they, like? The like normal comic length or yeah. like, like twenty two mm -hmm. pages. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, man, How exciting. Yeah. Six issues of David Williams artwork. I'm all in, especially colored like that. I love the colorist on there. What was his name again? Uh, you, you remember? David. David. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you can't hear me. No. No. I said Jason Wright. Oh, Jason, Jason Wright. Wright. All right. Yeah. We'll keep All right, him. countdown's great. begun. We're at 300 right now. 10, 9. Is it just me or is the guy with the axe kind of have an Elvis vibe? Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's the collar. I think it's the collar. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. 7. He had just yanked off his tie. He thought about choking her and he said, nah, this will be <laughs> easier. <laughs> easy <laughs> Six, five. Just know four. that I'm very jealous. 
I'm jelly. <laughs> Three. Oh, that's a good arrangement. Uh, the guy with the ass gives him Bruce Campbell vibes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Yeah. Oh, that's a good arrangement right there. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Sold. He's a monster for three bills. Nice. Wow. Congratulations. Right. Okay. That, uh, let me go. David's Venmo uh, is at SCW dash one. SCW dash. What was it again? SCW at, at SCW dash one. One so simple and yet so complex. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. And uh, I need some shipping on that too. Twenty bucks. Still, if you guys, yeah, if you guys are in the, if you guys are in the states, if you're not, please talk. You know, uh, off. You know, message or whatever to find out um, if you're going overseas. But because uh, there'll be more, yeah. but twenty bucks shipping on that would be nice. Uh, send, send send your address. Um, don't forget. <clears throat> Can't send it off. We don't know where you live. That's right. Um, all right. Who's next? Is it Gary or Kel it's Kelsey? Kelsey. It's me. Okay. Um, since uh, we we're doing all this talk about burning artwork, I thought I'd pull <laughs> oh. in the uh, the infamous burned piece. <laughs> That's true. Uh, that started a whole movement. Uh, literally a whole uh, movement. <laughs> Yep, yep. This is uh, we uh, coated with alcohol and uh, other flammable material, <laughs> <laughs> trying to see what would set it on fire. And uh, good old fashioned, just holding a lighter on it, uh, really yeah. burned it up. So, in the fashion of an old fashioned, uh, in the fashion of an old fashioned fashion, we got the fashion <laughs> of the one. It's a wanted poster uh, for Karate Kid, and I realized afterwards I should have wrote wanted. Karate the kid, <laughs> dead or alive. So if anybody picks this up today, I'm, uh, if you want, I'll fix that and put Karate the kid. Unless you want the Karate Kid, we want the original is on the stream. Come on, you got to keep it. Okay, original. all right, yeah. That's uh, do we have off. a we have a minimum bid on this, Kelsey? No, hey, pick it up for whatever you want. There you go. So it there even it go, even Kelsey. has that smell. <laughs> He's giving it away. <laughs> this is legendary stuff. <clears throat> Legendary. Uh, I'll throw in my keyboard. There you go. <laughs> uh, Mick, uh, Queen Mickey, I think you might need some counseling. Oh, my. Fire, fire, fire. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron Lopresti, 20 bucks. <laughs> you, can Aaron... throw it, you can throw it in with my Captain Caveman. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep. Anybody wants the uh, the legendary. Karate Kid wanted poster. Yeah, that's burned the, the, the live circle. On stream. The fire circles look to me look like bullet holes. This is yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. But this yeah. is Graybeard's legendary type it is. stuff. It is. You don't have to sit there and go, yeah, but the art isn't that great. No, it's about the wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have wait you know this is the best horse in all of Comics Gate. I don't know anybody that draws a horse like this. I think even Aaron got some crap for his horses, if I remember correctly. It's very possible. <laughs> yeah. Very, very possible. And that's uh, the Karate Kid in his cowboy outfit doing his Karate Kid stance. Come on, classic. Captain yeah. Bitto says it's fridge art. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pay today. Aaron twenty bucks to take it off my oh, hands. Oh, yeah. no, this is, is what Kelsey did today in school. Yeah, this, this, you guys, this is legendary. This is, is legendary. It is. All right, start the countdown so Aaron can buy this. <laughs> <laughs> Should I switch it out? Obviously, nobody wants a. Uh, we got ten dollars confirmed. That's yeah, yeah, that's lost. That's yes, yeah, already at twenty. You guys are working the wrong way. It has to be at least 25. I thought for sure this would do at least <laughs> 30. <laughs> do you want to pull it down and save it for later, Kelsey? No, I mean, uh, yeah, if there's, is there something else somebody wants? Uh, I know Aaron doesn't really want this thing in his house. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I can read the room. Let's do another one real quick. Yeah. And uh, I will be uh, jumping off a cliff if this one doesn't sell. So we'll. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Sarangus Fungus now is going to give you 30 bucks for it. You sure about that? Then... <laughs> is that a pity? Is that a pity it's buy? Confirmed. It's confirmed. All right. That's a, there it is. You okay. got to respect the. All right, Aaron, you're going to let him do that? You're going uh, ah, yes, to. I know I you am. really wanted this. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. I. Uh... <laughs> He didn't hesitate. Yes, it's I, uh, not. It's not manga. I mean, it has karate in the title. But, I was just. You know. I was just trying to prime the pump a little bit for you. <laughs> um, okay. Well, this may be a record low. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've done. I've done less as well. <laughs> done way less. Um, Aaron, ten. You already said twenty. No, no, no. I'm counting down. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Elsie, uh, Kel Elsie, Kelsey, throw another piece in, like like what David did. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Oh, Something that you were not button. going to to put in the bid. You could. Wait a minute, throw in my uh, alien nation drawing. There you uh, go. <laughs> there you Wait a minute, Sir Angus Fungus says I'm in Australia and I won't pay shipping. Confirmed. <laughs> oh yes, you will if you want to get it. <laughs> we'll do a digital version. <laughs> Uh, no matter and wants to know if they make frames that shape. <clears throat> here, I'll throw in a, a mogwai. <laughs> what else we got in here? <laughs> what else we got? Uh, I can probably get rid of a lot wait, of stuff Wait right for now. a bit before you put it on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, seven. The bundle's getting bigger. Jump in. <laughs> um. Yeah, people right, are, are we doing this, but I don't see we're any at, bid. We're at thirty dollars with countdowns on six. No, I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna keep piling on, and Sir Angus Fungus is gonna get all this for thirty. So I'm gonna add oh, this one oh, in there. Hey, look at that one. A little drawing. So this is like marker and like ink yeah. and stuff. I love your random chicks. Uh, <laughs> what else can I throw in here for thirty bucks? Oh, well, we got um, a we got a bid from Lieutenant Hughes. He says, well, if you're going to throw all that in there, I'll 38. 38, yeah. All right, what else? Oh, you know what this one no, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> Daniel Roth was saying 40. All right, 40. That's uh, 50. That's the guy. See, now we're, now we're talking. Now we all right, 50. 50, I'm going to throw in the uh, 7 one also. Oh, look at this. It just keeps growing. All right. Uh, all right, we'll 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 stop there. We'll stop there. I got a bunch I can throw in there, but I, let's we do that for the rest. Okay, we'll we'll start the countdown over again. Then. Yeah. Oh no, just go for it. Seven fifty or no fifty. What did I say? Sixty. 750. John's at sixty. Uh, Mark D's at seventy-five. Yeah. Here I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, David's technique. I'm gonna move <laughs> stuff around. Move <laughs> right, around. Yeah. We'll hide. We'll hide yeah, the I wasn't real. I get a bid, artist. but now looking at him again, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys 75. are coming in. You guys are coming in late. At uh, you got to be over seventy-five. Mark D was the first one at seventy-five. So. Here, wait. There you go. Vespa saying eighty bucks right there. Eighty bucks. Okay, it worked. All right, hang on. Uh, how much for the box with the head? It all comes in there. It's all part of the. You got to take them all. Take them all or nothing. That that mean chick's got to be in the middle. I think yeah. if you cover up the wanted poster, it might do better. <laughs> there we go. Don't stand ninety. Uh, Mark B yeah, said one hundred. Wanted poster, so they forget. But that's there you go. Horrible. Now this, this is this is actually a fun piece. Uh, this is like watercolor. Um, kind of, yeah, this was designed in the computer beforehand, so I did kind of cheat a little bit you on did this cheat. one. Yeah, it was but, uh, still hand drawn. Oh wait, let me arrange. Hang on. <laughs> Captain Bit Bipto says it worked. I'm finally getting rid of this burnt piece of. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now we'll, you know, we've only been going for an hour and we've got through a couple of rounds. I think we've done pretty well here for moving this thing along. For sure. Uh, All right. Where are we at? Count it down. 10. 
nine. Here, we'll just put this. Eight. That. There you go. Seven. I'll throw some cigarette ashes in there for you. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Sir, okay, for <laughs> Angus Funga says serious question, but then he doesn't ask what the question is. Uh, he's a monster, says here's that. I'm serious. I want 105 bucks for that. So there you go. 105. Oh, man. Hang on. <laughs> the countdown must continue. So yeah. we're now at five. Get those bids in now. Did I do this arrangement already? Mark 20, one, 120 by Mark D. Look how good that edge looks right there. Come oh, it on. Does. That yeah. is kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> five. Um, four. Mark D. No matter, man, is asking about shipping to Australia. Well, you got to pay for it. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what, yeah, what how much is the question. It's probably going to be like sixty bucks, to be honest with you. Yeah, oh, I think yeah. That, yeah, I think you're right. Yo. Oh, okay. There you are. Um, people are distracting me. Okay, where are we at? One. What's <laughs> <laughs> uh, screen? You got me yelling at Aaron in this piece while eating a hamburger like a true American. <laughs> Go full screen. There it is. Sold too late. It's already sold. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you. Good That's job. a steal. Yeah. Uh, is it me again? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was Gary. Yeah. Be sure to put oh, your great. name and 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 uh, you have to list every one of these. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I, <laughs> I'll know who you are. Just put Gary's the wanted poster. All right, go, Gary. Okay. Uh, Helen Slater, I believe, is on the. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. We got a minimum on this? This is a good one. Um, I think I'm going to do a reserve, which means I will not divulge the amount until it's reached. And it's it's reasonable. Like This is um, 11 by 17. On Brist heavy, heavy Bristol India ink over graphite pencil. Uh, took me a couple of days. So well, let's uh, let's cut the crap. You, uh, you <laughs> we're talking. You got to start out about two hundred, or you might as well forget it, right? Yeah, uh, more than that. Not it's not a ridiculous amount, but it's more than two hundred. Two hundred what lines? <laughs> uh okay let's just say uh dollar per line <laughs> i'm saying that yeah minimum on this because of the time involved um has to be 300 mm. so we'll get through this pretty and quick. that's that's low balling it that's still very reasonable for a piece like this honestly yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, this is a this is a two-day piece for me so that's yeah that's this why is, uh, you know, you'd be looking at commission prices on this probably around a grand. So, uh, you know, 300 is, uh, it's you're making me want to watch this movie, which is really hard to do. Uh, <laughs> so I'm saying it's successful. So. <laughs> That's how Drew Struzan is. He would do movie posters for terrible movies and makes you want to watch them. Yeah. So I got a lot of love when I posted this on uh, on Twitter. So let's see if uh, if that. Uh, well, you know, it's easy to like something, right? Yeah, that's true. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, I think I said in your in your tweet, um, if you drew her from uh, what was it? Oh, he's he's in Australia. Legend of Billie Jean. 15k what? dude our australia and new zealand are the most expensive places to ship in the world and for a piece this size dude you're looking seriously you're looking at 60 bucks probably yeah that's i think six around 60 is um is about the price yeah I and mean, it's actually not the size it's the weight but still uh yeah you can't motion 
No. Okay. <clears throat> so Gary's uh, testing the limits of the chat, saying, "Is anybody yep. is anybody willing to go that high?" Um, well, Seringa said 15k shipping, but I think shipping is their language for confirmed, right? 15k. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 60, 70 overseas says he's a monster. I don't know. There's, there's like code appearing here on the. I think I should lower the minimum bid to bid to uh, two ninety nine. <laughs> lower that minimum bid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> minimum bid. <bitch. laughs> yeah. This is this is the garage sale action on this show. <laughs> the I mean, dog no. voting. I hear the dog. No, he's like, I can't believe you guys are three hundred. Come on. But this piece <laughs> is is uh, will be in my art book. Yeah, very nice. Well, I love the dog. It's like worse than cricket somehow. I think. <laughs> well, he he's got his. Uh... All right, Gary. What do you think? You think anybody's going to bid on this, or are we going to have to save it for another time? Countdown from twenty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute! You got to have a bid in there. <laughs> twenty. 19 they're all we're all poor he says give me some of aaron's crappy stuff that's cheap i don't know that gary has any of that <laughs> it's all like i know that's the thing i say they want more of my crap so i can uh you know. look you come to me for the crap <laughs> maybe they're waiting for the the rights and recreation <laughs> ah. You have to go on one of those late night uh, Ethan auctions with the uh, yeah. after everybody's been drinking a while. Yeah, um, bids go up. I like how you got one strand of hair going past the border. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Was that purpose or was that like, oh, yeah. oh crap, that's where the border was? Oh. I was going to do a lot more, but I thought just one will. Take it. There we go. Yeah, it's classy. We're down to nine. Here we go, folks. Just to get a bit in there. This is your chance. Well, to get you got Stoman for 300 confirmed. There it is. That's Stoman, not to be conf confused with Larry Stroman. That's what I, I thought just for a second. <laughs> it's like Stroman. You know, he's launching Tribe here pretty quick and wanted to come on my Sunday show to promote. And I said, of course. Stoman? No, Strowman. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I don't know Stoman. I'm not familiar with that name, but thank you. I appreciate it. So there we go. We're at six. Still a chance to come in. Larry, are you out there? <laughs> <laughs> don't let Stoman. He doesn't even have an R in That's his right. name. Strowman versus Stoman. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom oh, in on not, the lines. Somebody's or asking me to zoom in. That's a good idea. Yeah. Mm, so you need to be arranging it like David and I were doing. It works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah it's something else. Whew. That's all brush. <laughs> it's all <Crazy>. labor. <laughs> I just, I just don't understand. When people say art is for fun and people want to no, look at this and say, does this look like fun? <laughs> it's fun if you have it on your wall. It's not Looks fun doing it, man. Exactly. It work. It looks like work. <laughs> you ever go up to Bolden and be in, and go like, yeah, I still use a brush. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what you're up to, pal. Yeah. Yeah, I would take a trip to Great Britain just to tell them that. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Like wow. my, my, yeah. grandson, my grandson, Tucker Boland, you suck. Yeah. <laughs> Call him on the phone. Collect. You got you to gotta do it like Don Knotts and do a little sniff and go, I still use a brush. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Four. Here we go. Five. Four. You were three. at two. Yeah, what? well, I give him a little, a little, a break. little extra juice in there. <laughs> two. One 
So Larry Not Stroman is going to win this. It looks like it's the nice. lower price of three hundred. Uh, He's a monster. Says this is an original piece. Yes, this is an original piece. This is not a print. This mm -hmm. is the original piece. And there we go. Wow, <laughs> Stroman stealing it for three hundred. Yeah, yeah, congratulations! Holy moly! So could I get? Uh... The PayPal. A 600 or so for shipping? Uh, shipping, 300. Uh, I'd have to add some insurance to it. So it would be uh, 25. At least $2,500 <laughs> shipping. 25 for shipping. Um, my PayPal is uh, inkart at earthlink.net. I N K A R T at earthlink.net. And please Ink include art. Wait a minute. Ink art at earthlink.net. Yes. I didn't think Earthlink was still a thing. Yeah, yeah, still got congratulations. Them yeah, <laughs> I've been with them for a long yeah, time. Yeah, since the beginning. <laughs> yeah. David's still got AOL, so <laughs> um, so please uh, name piece that you're purchasing, address, and um, what else? Uh Proof of income. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. <clears throat> there it is, folks. Let's keep this show moving. Who wants this ballpoint pen extravaganza? Let me see. My minimum bid on it is $5. Let's go. Can we see that up close? Because that <laughs> back here, it does not look like ballpoint pen. That's a great piece, actually. Yeah, he pretty much killed it. And so did David, if I remember right, on that day. I failed miserably, but <laughs> can't all be champions, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Adam says 50 bucks. I'll take that. There you go. So what I did here, folks, in case you don't remember, is I, I used a red pen for the underdrawing because we couldn't use a pencil and then went over it with the darker pen to create the line. Okay. I love that Viking dude hovering over her. And she's, she's like, I hear something. Look, you guys, you guys are bidding backwards. Do you know how this works? You have to bid more than 50. <laughs> the like, countdown goes down. The price the, goes up. The price goes up. The countdown goes down. <laughs> I remember all these art pieces are actually authenticated on this very show. All right, he's a monsters in there for 70 bucks confirmed. Thank you for that there very we much. Go. And we still have uh, Captain Bitto. He's up to $10, but uh, Best Age Comics, 75 confirmed. Thank you so much. Someone bid a hundred. Yeah, I put two hours work into this. <laughs> like half a ballpoint pen. That's right. I actually went through two ballpoint pens I used. Oh, to did use. you really? Oh, because you got red in there. Yeah, I. Wait a I minute. Was, you cheated. I was wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No one said you couldn't do an underdraw. You said you just had to use pen. So I used pen. There we go. Uh, no matter when he can't take it. He's going, okay, I confirmed. Yes, sir, David. Sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, see, if no matter when wins this, didn't he get one of my earlier ones? So I just throw this oh, in. Yeah. Oh, shipping. yeah. Look at that. It wouldn't even be any shipping. So. Well, let's not get crazy. <laughs> it is two pieces, I mean. <laughs> uh, sorry, the weight just went through the roof. This piece is for all the people who have a fetish for women with long pubic hair. <laughs> oh. that's, no, that's that's the that's the fur of a yeti. Oh, that's you know, what David the we call it. <laughs> David, every time you make a crack like that, you're 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 making me see something in perpetuity. Now I'll, I'll never be able to see that without. 
I, I'm getting. I feel like I'm getting to know a little more about David with these comments. <laughs> honestly, um, hmm. <laughs> now you're making people retract their bids, David. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now here come the jokes. That's Bush League. Uh, <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Mike Kepler, uh, you've got a Yeti down there. I mean, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Asleep for the win. Oh, Great <laughs> right that bush. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> this is worse than the Star Trek chat now. Look what you've done, David. The oh, cannons are coming. I wonder if they had summer breeze back then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I think the vi the the hovering Viking is regretting his <laughs> you know, it's like whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain Bitto is down to dollar fifty. So this is really going the wrong way. Pretty soon you're going to be paying people to take this. Uh, thank sorry. you, David. Appreciate that very much. I'm sorry. Yeah. Really nice. And now you need to throw some other stuff in there and range yeah, it around. Mix it up a little bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, now that the jokes are through, David, <laughs> let's start a little. There <laughs> I'm sorry. We're at $105 right now for this. This is uh, a nice firm paper. Nice <laughs> pen drawing. Poster board. Yeah, it, it frames up real nice. It frame up there real and nice. talking it up. It's on firm paper. <laughs> I'm out of insane. What was funny? See? My he judge didn't hurt it. Shipping. He's like 120, man. My <laughs> judge did not hurt it. See it? People mm -hmm. around here got a good sense of humor. We got uh, evil humor. one says auction ruined by David confirmed. No, <laughs> no. We got the best chat on the interwebs. All right, I'm gonna start counting down. We're at 120 with no madaman. Ten. We do have the best piece, uh, best chat if they're buying uh pubic hair like this. <laughs> oh my god, can you stop it. <laughs> the you guys, are, you guys are good sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, just came in, I came into this completely oh, innocent. And this is what I'm getting. Okay. Uh, 25 confirmed. <clears throat> don't beat around the bush. Get those bids in. Oh, <laughs> Not to mention the cape of back hair that she apparently oh, has. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> <laughs> now Aaron can't wait to get this out of his house. I know. I'm like... <laughs> I know, say something good about it though. I, I love the the, uh, the the I don't know what you would call that kind of rendering. You know that uh, hatchwork. Oh, yeah. cross hatching. Oh wait. But he's got some kind of feathering going on. Well, it's like a burlap sack almost. You know, like the cape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd oh. still be cross hatching. Well, yeah. I did some feathering down here below her knee there. You He's know, got some kind of Rudy Nevery's thing going on. But yeah. It yeah. does, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> For a ballpoint pen, I mean, come yeah. on. Come on. You should do all your work like this. Well, I should do a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> I don't do. Five. Oh, my gosh. The jokes just keep rolling in. I hope my daughter's not watching this episode. Four. <laughs> <coughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. It's your last chance at 125, no madam, and free shipping, man. Take that in consideration. You can make uh, it up to him with a high bid, David. <coughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much as you get. Two. <laughs> One. I'm typing in sold. What a steal. Yeah. Look at this. We're just giving stuff away here. There it is. Sold. Your hair's breath away. Model, model works. <laughs> okay. Throw in an extra 15 for the uh, the Yeti fur and um, <laughs> shipping. Uh, now you got a story to tell uh, that goes with it. Oh, <laughs> That's my right. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there it is, Aaron at PayPal. It's Aaron at AaronLepresti.com. Awesome. And that's going to wrap up my portion of the show. Who's got something left? Tagamo, congratulations. Right. I, got, good. I got one. Here we go. All right. Here's my ballpoint. 
Oh, oh or no. Barbarian. That's right. Or draft. But I'm also never show in Billy Jack in there. Ah. Or draft and Billy Jack. What a okay. combo. Those are both yep. 11 by 17, aren't they? Yep. Man. Crayon, ballpoint pen. Well, that's right. We were doing uh, mixing up our mediums. Any uh, minimum bid on this yeah. one? Or you just letting it go. Uh, I'll just let it go. Look at that, you guys. Get in there. Dang. The generosity. Look at that ballpoint pen. Where's Andy to pick this? Yeah, up? where where are you at, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> He's probably on Graham's stream right now. And this is a masterpiece. <clears throat> He's be in the book. Fifty bucks confirmed. Sir Angus. McFungus. Look, you have all the people reaching for his crotch uh, in the uh, mm -hmm. Billy Jack. Is there enough uh, time for somebody in the people? chat to, to go over and tell Andy this is up being auctioned? Yeah, go tell him. Andy How many pens did you use? Andy wants stuff for just free. One. Oh, just one? <laughs> Same kind of paper? Is this that toned paper? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Tagamo, 15 bucks shipping. It's a, I think it's 9 by 12. I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, 15 will cover it. <clears throat> Core Giraffe. Does he have a name like, you know, Conan the Barbarian? Is he like Core Giraffe the Cordial or something? Or does he have like a... <laughs> Is there like a surname? <laughs> oh, Angela says that uh, Graham's stream ended. Oh, then he should be here to pick this. Well, piece he's going to be jumping over. I think EBS is going yeah, on Ethan. Okay. So. Thank you, Angela. Mm. I love the shadow on uh, Billy Jack's. You know what? The, the way you rendered the Billy Jack one reminds me of. Um, Bill Pete a little bit. You Bob guys know Pete. who Bill Pete is? Bob. No, no, Bob. no, no. Well, I mean, it's in a Bob Peak. The design is kind of Bob Peak, but like uh, Bill Pete used to, he's an old Disney artist. Oh yeah, he did. Uh, he did these um, uh, children's books for uh, little golden books. That's those right. Little, and yeah. he had this I real scribbledy. Uh, and I used to love the way he colored. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He did the caboose that got loose. <laughs> <laughs> David likes that one. <laughs> David's like, that sounds like my Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> Uh, the jokes are rolling in, so do move those pieces around. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, now, now we're getting mm -hmm. someplace. So we're at seventy-five dollars right now. That is dirt cheap for these guys. Let's get up to a hundred anyway. Make us feel better about ourselves. Why not? See, the thing about this is, is that David will probably never draw with ballpoint pen or crayon ever again if he can help it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that makes these incredibly unique. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> of course when you show them off everybody's be like well why did he do that and you'll have to explain what's well, a gray beard show it's a whole thing they make fun of aaron uh <laughs> <laughs> what oh is that that's not what we do on this show <laughs> no. I'm, i don't encourage that kind of behavior but uh it does seem to uh find them 80 bucks confirmed we're getting there come on push that up to 100 Push it up to 100. Come on, we can do 50 bucks a piece. Even got a church uh, steeple in the background. That's right. Not even I did that. Captain <laughs> Bipto said, Whose idea was crayon? Um, pretty sure yeah. it was you guys voted on it. That's oh, right. is that one? <laughs> <laughs> what were the other options? Why, yeah, why is the chat trying to blame us? I know. Or, the, the other options, I think it was 
uh, paint or marker, and you guys chose crayon. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Could Trying to stump us. It ain't going to work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tagamo. Appreciate that very much. I'll get this stuff shipped out this week for sure. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the core draft piece and just thinking how Gary would have done all those lines <laughs> with a, with a brush. Not with a pen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there it is. That's, we got it up to 100. Now we're talking. Now the game is afoot. <laughs> Thank you, Angela, for, uh, for doing that. I love the shadow under his nose. I, I, every time I draw one of those, I always it always looks like a Hitler mustache. I, I, <laughs> I can't I can't do the shadow under the nose thing. Neil Adams used to do that a lot too. The uh, shadow yeah. under the nose, but Pero, same type of thing. Yeah, it looks it looks three dimensional the way you do it. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that uh, mental illness haircut that we heard about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just needs purple hair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, draft the SJW. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to get back at you for this. That's yeah, the, probably. Wait a minute, that, that girl had that haircut that uh, that's the, Gary made cry at the grocery store about the hot dog. <laughs> 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 I wonder what the three uh, dashes on his head are. Those like body cut. Those are ex-wives. What are those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna. <laughs> oh, I'm totally gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm glad. I had a nice guy. Uh, otherwise, I'd be nervous. <laughs> All right, let's count this baby down. We're at a hundred dollars right now from Vespa guy. Ten. It's actually, it's actually kind of cathartic. Uh, drawing with a ballpoint pen. You're just rendering. You just yep. Yeah, it stuff. is. <clears throat> Except when people make fun of your ballpoint pen drawing, that's not very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's a monster. Is asking David how much he should include for shipping. 20. We're at eight. <clears throat> These are 11 by 17. And generally, I, I throw in something a little extra. I'm not saying what oh. it is, but sometimes I do. And sometimes he doesn't. So you just never know. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a balding point pen. Yeah, I know. I've been working on those too long. <laughs> there you go. Five. Four. Three. I didn't see any refrigerator comments about your coloring, uh, your yeah. crayons. Thank yeah. you. He didn't burn his. Uh, oh. uh, David gets insults, but he's, I think the chat is just a little bit. A little bit more respectful, do you think? Of yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah. His comp, his insults are like, well, that's not quite as good as Michelangelo, but you're, you're close. You're close. You're close. Yeah. Oh, what an nice, insult. Yeah. Nice effort. <laughs> All right. I'm typing in sold right here in capital letters. S -O. Last chance. Get it in. Get it in. Oh, Daniel Ross is saying we like him. That's why. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, that makes one of us. There it is, sold uh, for 100. Um, thank you very much. That, of course, is, um, let's see, David's Venmo. I'll put it in there. Congratulations, Vespa. Let me ride around on his Vespa. With you, guys are, you, guys get, you guys are getting some great deals tonight. Um, yeah, what do we, okay, it's, uh, it's at SJW. No, at, at <laughs> no, no. SCW. Dash one. Dash one. Oh, one of <laughs> All right. Do we have anything left? Gary, I think Gary's got one piece left. This is a big one. Gary's uh Gary's here for uh for the money. Oh not so Ooh. good one. What's your uh what's your starting on this, Gary? Um let's do one hundred. <clears throat> This is uh, 11 by 17. Aaron's bidding. I am. 
All inked with a brush over uh, yeah, a pencil. All right. Um, there you go. I knew it. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> you beat me to it. Hold on. Matt Grendel for five. Darn it, Gary. I've been thinking about corn dogs for an hour. Now I have to go to Sonic. All we have problems. This doesn't work if we're buying our own stuff. Quit putting cool stuff up there. <laughs> <laughs> Birdman coming in What's strong funny? here. All right. I'm already out of my price range, but worth a shot. Worth a shot. <laughs> I wonder so what, what, does, what does the right, shutter Aaron? know? Here comes Aaron. Here uh, <laughs> Those hands, man. Was Bernie Shelly's, the best hand? Shelly guy? comes in and bids. <laughs> Sorry, Birdman, but uh, it will cost you more than 150 to get that. So was this um Aaron? Help me out. This was an ad that Wrightson did for the right. Shadow series. Because he was originally going to be the artist on it. And so he did the ad piece in the back of the DC book. And then I can't remember what reason why he was taken off the book or couldn't do the book. And because he did Swamp Thing instead, was this about the same time, wasn't it? Like 72. It, that might have been what it was. Hey, Daniel Russell had 180, but then Birdman Bird came right in with 200 confirmed. Oh, uh, Daniel Russell, Russell 222. Room 222. Remember that show with Karen Love? <laughs> It's a good number. Mm -hmm. doot, doot, doot. <laughs> so I was asking earlier, do you think uh, Bernie was the best hand guy? That's a sounds terrible what? way to put that. Did, uh, did, did, <laughs> is well, Bernie is Bernie does did Bernie do the best hand job? Does um, <laughs> <laughs> does he draw the best hands in comics? That's right. <laughs> um I well it depends if you like that sort of you know, sort of gnarly, looser kind of feel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Keon, I like Keon's fingers oh, too because he does yeah. like these kind of weird yeah, yeah. muscular fingers. Yeah. But he's yeah. a he's a huge Bernie fan, though, right? I'm sure he got some of that from Bernie. But he's a big John Byrne fan. Too. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. I like oh, the way uh, Andrew oh, Robinson does. Yes. Stoneman, your payment just came through. Um, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Stephen, incorrect. It's Karen Valentine. What did I say? Karen Love. <laughs> Karen Valentine. Well, <laughs> Yeah, Karen I Valentine. I remember 222. Broom 222. Karen Valentine was kind of the young, good looking yeah. teacher. She was and, adorable. Uh, yeah. I don't remember that. Hold on, I'm going to look her up. Karen Valentine, Room 222. Yeah. Had a nice little theme song. Zoom in here. Smart. Oh yeah, she's kind of girl next doorish. Yeah, Gary, your uh, your brush lines must it must caused you a great deal of pain to do brush lines that loose. No, I it, it actually <laughs> I need to do these kinds of things every once in a while. Um, I enjoy it, even though it goes against my my nature, but I do enjoy it. Uh, he's um, a monster. Says, wait, is this an original? Yes, it is. They're yeah. all originals. It's just that Gary's inking is so freaking clean, it looks like a print. But it is. <laughs> yeah, the black is is very, very dark. <clears throat> so you're doing something in this that I always loved. Yeah, oh, the, the wow. black ink is, oh, is blow that really, up. really dark. Hang on a second, Gary. Let me make you. Uh... There we go. Okay. Now hold Holy it up. smokes, that's huge. It's uh, it's uh, eleven by seventeen. Ah, it just seems big because the image is so big. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at that. So good. Oh, his ear looks like a question mark. Daniel Russell wants to know, will you take $230 plus two corn dogs? <laughs> <laughs> Are they uh, blackened? blackened yeah, black corn dogs? Corn dogs? yeah, they yeah. better be put to perfection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that That's is so awesome. cool, Gary. You know, you kind of inspire me. I kind of want to... Um, I, I should do try some high contrast stuff like that. I should try and do an emulation of this as well. Not like, to like, like try to, to one up you, but just kind of because it's not overly complex for a rights yeah. and piece, but it's really great. It's so yeah. dramatic. I would like to see that if you did one. I might do that. I love this piece, but uh, I don't want to take it from Birdman. Queen Mickey, no, that was not a print, it was the original. 
uh, what, I, what I was saying earlier about your inking in this, it reminds me of some of the stuff you were doing in Nexus where you kind of, the feathering is kind of like a cross between watered down inks and dry brushing somehow. Yeah. I, yep. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very similar techniques. Yeah. Yeah. I love that look. I don't know how you get dry brushing from watering down inks. I don't That's <laughs> pretty amazing. Okay, Mickey just realized she could have bid on that Supergirl piece, but she thought it was a print. No, these are all originals. These are all originals. 300 confirmed from Evil One. No, he said 300 corn dogs confirmed. Corn dogs confirmed. Well, that's a bid. That's a solid bid. Yeah, <laughs> How um, much does a corn dog cost? They're probably more I'm not than accepting corn dogs as as uh, illegal tender. We'll take the, uh, the, the cash value of the... Uh, Three hundred corn dogs. Great piece. Even those black and corn dogs kind of turn me <laughs> off. To that Aaron's going to bid again. I'm thinking about it. Um, <laughs> Come on, Aaron, two fifty. That's totally yeah. worth it. Mm. Yeah, the lettering is so good too. Did you do the lettering with a brush also? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Oh my Are god! You really? Are you kidding? Oh me? yeah. <laughs> I can I can ink straighter lines with a brush than I can with a pen, unless I'm wow. using a, a ruler. Fantastic. So yeah, I think we should. Uh, I'm, I'm getting too many corn dog bids. I think we should start the countdown. <laughs> yeah, before you. Have I know. To I'm accept. getting hungry. Yeah, same here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ten. Nine. Eight. This is a great Birdman is rubbing his hands together with glee. I can tell right now. The uh, shadow nose corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> he saw those blackened corn dogs. He opened fire. Yeah. <laughs> Five. I'm still toying with the idea of bidding on this. Four. There's a good three hundred dollars worth of ink on this piece. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you should get it because you know you're never gonna try inking it. Well, now see, now you're pissing me off. I will do it just to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can do it that well, though. I mean, Gary's like that's like super accurate. I would probably do my own interpretation on it. It wouldn't be as good. Uh, one. Okay, here you go, guys. Last chance. I'm gonna type in sold. Birdman's walking away with this great piece for two hundred thirty dollars. Unless yeah, I bid, awesome. I could do a last second bid, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, you could. Your your second could last forever. Yeah, <laughs> I can think about it here. <laughs> Evil one keeps trying to trick me. He says two hundred forty dollars confirmed for a trade for Aaron. <laughs> what? What? So he's going to pay Gary two hundred forty for that. I get the shadow, but then I have to pay. I have to do a. Well, why would you just hire me to do your commission? He wants me to do right. an Evil Ernie for yeah, right? Yeah, cut out the middleman. That's really convoluted. Oh, um, Evil Ernie. I'm going to put that on the list for... Uh... There it is. Sold for 230 Birdman Bird takes that home. What a great Nice. Piece. Nice. Thank you. Jealous. Congratulations. That's a get right there. Thank you very much. Yeah, I love how high contrast that is. Now we can all afford toothpaste to put on our dry uh, feet. What are you doing, David? What's this? PayPal is uh, inkart at earthlink.net. And name of the piece, your name, and address, please. And I'll, oh, this one, um, 25 for shipping. I'll kick in because of the size and kick in a little extra for insurance. So inkart mm. at earthlink.net, right? Correct. Okay. Well, gentlemen, that's going to wrap up this uh, epic show. I want to encourage everybody. Well, actually, oh, thank hold you. Hold on a second. I'm sorry, Aaron. Birdman, did you purchase the other one? He did. It looks like two Gary okay, pieces. So then you don't need to add extra for insurance. Right on. That's the way you do it. You should all buy multiple pieces uh, to make yep. it uh, more <laughs> cost-friendly. So okay, then you're yeah. saying $25 for both shipping, right? Correct. Correct. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> okay, um, I want to thank everybody for joining us, you guys. We had over 100 that stuck around for the thank entirety you. of the auction. 
and we appreciate you guys hanging in there. It's been a long show. Uh, we're all going to get some corn dogs. I want to thank I'm everybody for the super chat. Starving for corn dogs. <laughs> for, the, uh, for the comedy in the chat. Uh, thank yes. you guys for bidding. Those of you who bid on this stuff, thank you for participating. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you very and, much. Um, please hit the like and subscribe on your way out the door. It helps the channel grow. We're going to continue to do fun stuff on this show. Try and get some guests if they'll ever return my messages and uh, go from there. But uh, remember, Graham Nolan's launching uh, Return to Monster Island. I think it's over on uh, Ethan's channel. So you guys want to hop over there, check that out. Make sure you back that book. And um, uh, until we see you uh, uh, again, let me try that again. So we'll see. <laughs> hey, I see you, Daniel. I'll save it for you. All right. There you go. Uh, we will. Uh, we'll see all you guys next time right here on Graybeard Studio. Thank you and good night. Oh, goodness. <laughs>